I feared my dad more than I feared the police. Because he didn't want no teeth yeah, or no yeah, rubber yeah. in his house, you know what yeah. I mean? He didn't even want rasta man in his house because I wanted to be a rasta from I was like 10. Yeah. Hey, no, we're not doing nothing. Yeah, yeah. And that is one of the main reasons why I left the sound because mm -hmm. I didn't know where I was going to go. Yeah, yeah. But you knew that you'd outgrown what Yeah, that I'd outgrown that. Outgrown it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. You really see me say, we are there. Yeah, yeah. You're a bit far from home. Yeah. He's going to teach me how to be a, not how to MC, but how to behave as an MC and yeah. even behave as a sound man. So he took me under his wing. I said, yeah, no problem. But I goes, I don't do anything without my brother. And we were back in limbo again. Yeah. Back to no man's land. Mm. I turned around and said to him, oh, I'm done, man. Oh, this music thing, it's not for me. The branch of that huge tree that came up came from sound system culture. And you and your brother have taken us through this, this journey of what, of a deep journey of what sound system culture was in that time. Hello and welcome to the London Something podcast with myself, DJ Ron, and thank you in advance for joining us today. Thanks to those of you who have liked, commented, shared and subscribed. We really appreciate your support, as by doing so it helps our channel grow and reach so many more people. A special shout out to our sponsor, West End DJ, who with their continued support, help us provide more of these episodes documenting the culture of jungle and drum and bass. Check out the link below and use the London Something code to get a discount for the best in DJ and sound equipment for all your needs. My guest today is one of a duo whose story and legacy span the history of sound system culture, the earliest examples of Raga over Acid House, and an act that has weathered the storm to be here in the present, sharing their own brand of talent to all their fans, new and old. We welcome from the legendary Raga twins, my good friend, Demon Rocker. Be saying D. Respect, right. man. Big yes. up my Bless yeah, up. yeah, yeah, nice for coming through. Yeah, bro. man, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, I a long time we won't come on the land yeah. something, you know, see. <laughs> But no, I've been wanting to get you both on here, you know what I mean? And even though you've been saying to me you wanted to come, I've actually wanted to get you. I think the conundrum for me was always, do I put them both on together? Yeah. Or do I put them on separately? It was my missus actually who said, you know what, you should do them separate. Yeah. Because they've always done interviews together. Every time. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and with that, you know what I mean? So um, kind of looking around for him now, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Double act. <laughs> And with that, I wanted to kind of like get into it, you know, like your earliest memories, you know what I mean? It, you know, it doesn't have to be music or anything like that, but just some of your earliest memories mm. as a young boy growing up, the area you lived in, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We grew up in um, Stoke Newton, born in Hackney, but do you know when your parents first come and you're young, you move from place to place, yeah. room to room, and then my dad got a house and we moved in at um, Windus Road, Stoke Newton. People say it's more Stanford Hill, but me, Stanford Hill didn't sound right to me, mm. so I'm a Stokey man. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. So, um, and we lived there for most of our, our young, like our childhood life. I think I moved out when I was about 20, 22. Okay, so you were up there right away through school then? Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, through school. We lived in the same house. It was six of us in the house, mm. um, four boys and two girls. Yeah. Um, and we, we basically, we, we all done stuff always together but me Trevor and Danny um, we were always together mm. football mm. playing out scrumping in, in people apple tree mm, mm. teeth in people bottles that they leave out for, for the man to collect and get their yeah, fight yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, used yeah. to get a little credit yeah, back thing, yeah, for, the, the for the lids and yeah, the, yeah, yeah and them yeah, thing yeah. there so um, yeah and we played cricket down at Tyson school you know mm. we had a a wicked childhood, you know, because them time they we lived we lived just down the road from a from an alley. It was called Windus Walk, mm. and enough youths used to gather up in there. We we they used to call us the alley cats because we was always in this alley from from school done. We're in the alley. Yeah, if yeah. it's holiday, from you yeah. get up, you have your breakfast. Alley. Alley, yeah, yeah. And you, even if you're the only one in there, you, you wait and you wait yeah, until people, people, turn up. people yeah, that's turn nice. up. Yeah, yeah, and that's in the summertime, nice. all the bigger guys, like, because I'm talking about when I was like seven, eight, nine, really? them time. Right. There. Yeah, yeah. And then you had the big book house man, them, yeah. like Eastman's um, age. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Roddy. You know Roddy? Yeah, and of course I know. Yeah, Roddy. Roddy yeah, 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 you know Roddy. So he used to come down there with all these brethren and all that because there was a house in the alley 
that was like a Jamaican family and they knew everybody. Right. You understand? Okay. So everybody would come there and we all congregate there. Mm. They'll watch the kids and they'll look after us. You know, nobody couldn't come in that alley and trouble mm. us. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, they, they have our back and all that. They used to bring sound in the alley and play tump music. Mm. So, yeah, it was great around there. You know what I mean? We used to r ride bike, like running races, play football in the alley, brought people window, everything. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so yeah. it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great childhood. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, the alley was at the end of my my road. The because at one end you got the high road, come down towards mm. Don't Newton train station. Mm -hmm. At the other end, you had Alcombe Road, and then the alley. So everybody that lived on that block, yeah, all the yeah, way yeah. round, came come into that alley. alley. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There was people on. If you go through the alley, you got Kyverdale Road. There was people on Kyverdale. You come round into the alley. Mm -hmm. People on Alcombe Road come to through on the yeah. alley. So it was full of. Like, mm. everybody knew each other. Yeah, yeah, and that's where we was every day. Mm. You know, and and then, like, in the proper summer, we'd go down to Springfield Park, mm -hmm. play cricket, you know what I mean, and just chill in the park and or mm. Tyson School, where, like, primary school. Yeah. We'd play in there. There was yeah. loads of places for us to play. Yeah. Like, North Wall, you know what I mean, go all around, everywhere. There was not, there was not a place in yeah. Hackney we didn't go didn't to go because, to, yeah. as far as I'm concerned, not like it was my manner, but that's where I'm from. So I knew yeah, you can go mainly, around yeah, and, and I knew mainly everybody. Mm, yeah, yeah. And then what was it like for like your your parents and that, and they're sort of like working and stuff like that while you were growing up. Um, when my like it's funny because like when we was at school, my dad was like, he'd do two weeks nights, two weeks days. Mm. See, so two weeks he'll be he'll go to work at six, and then come back in the morning. And my mum my mum worked just every day. Mm. Yeah. So in the holidays he got three weeks off for the holidays. So he was with us mm. for three weeks. We'd take us south end, we'd go park. But more of the time we went out and he just stayed in the house, mm -hmm. betting shop, cricket. That was his thing, you know what I mean? You know, don't get in any trouble because mm -hmm. I feared my dad more than I feared the police. Mm -hmm. Serious. He was he weren't no you know, he never spoke roughly or shouted or swear. I, I heard my dad swear once mm. in my life. Right. He was coming back from Tottenham mm. and we was crossing the road and a, a man just drove past and, and he said, you effing, you know what mm, I mean? Mm. And that's the only time I ever heard And that heard was only in protection. And that was only in protection, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, Brethren, if he said, come back at six, mm. you better make sure you're in at six. Because mm. uh, uh, getting older now, I went to a place, a club called QB's. Mm -hmm. They were doing um, a police... And you don't want to know when the police come and they want to talk to people. And yeah, yeah. But they were doing a dance after Sir George was playing. So I'm there from six o'clock. I think, oh, they're going to do a little two hour talk. And mm -hmm. from by eight, oh, I can stay there till 10, yeah. get the bus home. And I'm mm. in by 11, you yeah. know what I mean? The man then was talking, talking, talking. It's nine o'clock. Mm. They're not, they're not stuck talking, <laughs> you know what I mean? Then they stopped talking at half nine. Now I've got to be. Back home by 11. By 11. <laughs> so half nine. We're turning to a pumpkin. The first, <laughs> the first <laughs> play at half nine. So I'm in there, right? Look at my watch. I've got until about half, quarter past, 20 past 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As 20 past 10 come out of Cubies, cross the road bus, I had to take the bus past my stop. Yeah. So it looks like I'm coming in from where I'm supposed to be, which is Woodbury Down Boys Club. If they're looking at the window. Looking at the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad weren't looking at the window. He was standing by the gate. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and I yeah. got on my road at 5 2. He goes, You're lucky. Mm, mm. I said, Yeah, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that, boy. If the temptation took you five minutes after. Five minutes. After, I, was, I didn't take them, them, yeah, them yeah, risks with yeah. my dad. I know, I know my, a couple of my friends. Mm. And he, not that they didn't give a damn. They took the, I didn't take the risk with my dad. My dad was a. Yeah, but then that testament to. You know what I mean? The type of children that he was bringing up. Then, yeah. You know what I mean? Because, um, because he didn't want no teeth yeah, or no yeah, robbery yeah. in his house. You know what yeah. I mean? He didn't even want Rasta man in his house. I wanted to be a Rasta from I was like 10. Yeah. He no. Mm, mm, mm. Dress properly, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But that was him, you know? He's a, uh, he was Dominican, you know what I mean? They weren't into all this red, gold, and green Rasta jar. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Learn your book, get a job, and, and do well. The thing is, like just before he died, we joined you and we, we started getting into sound systems. He didn't really pay much attention when we was on Marcus and Flinty had his little sound so cruise. That was cool because his, his brother-in-law, my dad's brother-in-law used to lend Flinty them the boxes mm. to play. So he was cool with that, you know what I mean? But then when we went to Unity, he was like, 
why did you lot have to really go? This is big next people. Level. They yeah, said, yeah, next yeah. level, this is big man dance with man with gun and rear, tear, tear. I said, Dad, it's cool, don't worry, we're not into that, you know what I mean? And yeah, mm. he weren't for it, but what can you do? He was like mm. 16, 17, there's not much you can do, you know what I mean? So, but well, um, 16, 17, I was still under the cosh, bro. Well, yeah, yeah, and still, yeah, yeah, yeah still, yeah. still yeah, for yeah. real. Because yeah. I remember when I got <laughs> <laughs> my first proper girlfriend, yeah. Um, Friday night, no, it was Christmas. I think it was Boxing Day. Mm -hmm. I'm 16. I've done school. I've got a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got yeah. a girl. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, when you live under this roof. <laughs> well, I'm the brother. <laughs> From you live under this <laughs> roof. <laughs> My big brother, sisters, their friends, mm. everybody that we know, yeah. boom, they're around. We're going Methodist Church, Green Lanes. So I'm going to put on my clothes. I'm going to ask the question. I'm going to come here. I'm 16, yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Put my clothes. Going to step out, my dad called, where you going? Mm. <laughs> going with Ruby and Keith, I got a club. Yeah. No, you ain't got no club. I said, Dad, I'm 16, my girlfriend. You, well, you was with the girlfriend at the house? The girl was there at the house. Standing just next just to you. Nah, not next <laughs> right. to me, he called me one side. Yeah. He, he wouldn't do that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. He called me but one. she's in the house with she's you. She's in the house. So you're getting ready. She's I'm in ready. the house. Everybody's ready to go. We're going out the door. <laughs> no, you ain't going nowhere. I said, what do you mean? He said, take off them clothes. He said, but you had to go like my belly was hurting. <laughs> <laughs> Tell my girl oh, please, I'm dad. <laughs> no, I do it. No, please. No. Before you, he you said, I ain't knew. going. I, I, you I, just I, knew. Yeah. Asked mm. once. Mm. No. Just put out oh, my belly's hurting. I'm not bothering again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got away with it. You know what I mean? With my Jeez, girl. Jeez, I'm bred. Yeah, I thought, yeah. wow. Yeah, yeah, How could, yeah. He didn't care. You know what I mean? As far as he's concerned. And place ain't for, for young people. And I remember at 16, you're still young. You're young. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Time, so. Yeah. In, I mean, he's, I suppose in many ways, well, in the, the real the real situation is that he was trying to protect you. Yes, and he did. I mean? yeah, he yeah. did, because I've never been arrested. Mm, never mm, been in trouble. Mm, never, mm. never, <laughs> never wanted to teeth for one reason. Mm. So I'm 13 now, mm. seen? And me, I've got a friend called Gary. Um, me and him grew up. We was always tight. Mm. So we made this little Indian shop on my road. Yeah. I needed some glue. I don't even know if I needed the glue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I teeth the glue, but I got caught. <laughs> Man's teeth in glue, on the you know. On a shop on the same <laughs> a road, road where you live, live yeah. So you come in with your mummy and dad. Your <laughs> Wait, son, you're, so you're, 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 you're telling the story without even knowing. So one morning now, <laughs> mum didn't get change, anyway. Yeah. So we have to go to the shop to go and get some change. So I said, ah, there's a, a, a white man's shop on the side we live and yeah. the Indian man's shop was a bit closer. So she goes, come, follow me to the shop and get some change. Okay, so I'm walking on the left hand side. She's crossing over. I said, where you going? She's going, we're going to that shop. Me no one got to hey. theme shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, yeah, but she's just down there. I want to get something from there anyway. Yeah, yeah. No, we're going to that shop. So get to the shop now. I'm standing outside. It's close summer. It's yeah, hot, yeah. mum. It's hot. Come in the shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, what for? Come in the shop. So we go in the shop. The woman and her husband stand up there. The wife whispered to the husband. The husband said to my mum, uh, my wife say um, your, your son stole a glue. Yeah. What? <laughs> One time. Don't you ask the question. Yeah, 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 yeah. He won't be doing it again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Walk out the shop. She gave me my um, school money and said, make sure you get home mm -hmm. straight because... Your dad's going to want to hear about this. This, this Bridget, this. I don't think I wrote a letter yeah. at school. All day. Yeah, I'm shivering. <laughs> shivering. <laughs> Team, no, yeah, lunch. shivering. No lunch. Yeah, yeah. In, in the summer, we used to stay behind and play football. Yeah, yeah. Bridget, six o'clock come, I'm telling them, let's play one more goal, one yeah, more goal. Yeah. Now yeah. we're going home. Yeah. Make that long walk home. Bridget, I got in the house and my dad said to me, so you want to be a thief? Yeah, yeah. I said, no, no, no. I took my hand over the stove, you know, wanted to buy my my mum said to tell him, no, no, you can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get some licks, bread, you know. I'll never teeth saying. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never worth it. That, that ain't worth it. The, the, and and that's my dad. Imagine yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the police, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the thing, you know what I mean? It's an interesting one because like I say it to me and my friends who speak about it all the time. We say, boy, let me tell you something. The things that we used to, my parents our parents used to keep up. If they done that nowadays now, it, and, and people got to find out, they would say, well, boy, you know something? There's something going on, they have to call police. May I tell you, <laughs> you know serious. I mean? you, know? you couldn't call the police for, for our no, parents back then. No, you couldn't do that then, you're crazy. That's how yeah, got, yeah. But, but brought up they in, got brought up. And in and in and the West Indies, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. Do you but know yeah, I mean? it, 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 we, 
it weren't hard. You know, we weren't abused or. I don't feel that at all. You know no, what I mean? no, no, if you've done something wrong, you've got licks. Yeah, yeah. You know what standard. I mean? Yeah, and, and then we, you know, every day we had dinner. Yeah. Every morning we had breakfast. Yeah. You know what I mean? Every time we went to school, we had pocket money. Yeah, yeah. We had clothes. Mm -hmm. We lived. We lived. We lived all right. Not. Yeah. And great. you got disciplined. And we got disciplined. Yeah, you know, yeah. Christmas was was good Christmas. Not mm -hmm. you know rubbish Christmas. We got good presents. You know what I mean? Living at home was great. Mm. It was lovely. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you know, my 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 childhood and my bring my upbringing was. Superb, yeah, yeah, a one. Yeah, you know, thank, thank for my, thank God for my parents because yeah, yeah. I, some I could have got worse. You know what yeah, I mean? Of course, yeah. So, so okay. So you're a young boy. You're at school. You're at um, school. You know, to and fro school. You know what I mean? And you're you're a good kid. Yeah, I'm, I mean? a, I'm a good kid. And what primary school did you go? I went pr primary school St Thomas, not Sir Thomas Abney. St Thomas. St Thomas. St right. Thomas. Okay, yeah. And, and then all of you lot go there. We all went. You there. all went there, right? And then okay. my sisters and my brother went to Woodbury Dan. I, and then I went to Woodbury Down, mm. but I don't know why my mum sent Danny and Trevor to um, Saint Matthias. Saint, no, it... no, they still went to. Oh no, no, they went, they to, went to Hackney, Hackney Free. Free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I wanted to go Brook House, but my mum said no, no, yeah, not yeah. a chance. You ain't going nowhere near Brook House. Yeah, because Cause that was quite a way off then, wasn't it? That's why when you said to me that you lived that um, where you lived um, for twenty until you were twenty odd. That meant Danny was still living there when he was at school. Yeah, yeah. So then that was still that was a fair distance to yeah. get to Hackney Free, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's still, still a fair distance from distance for me to get to Woodbury Down because Woodbury Down's near Manor Park, Manor House. Well, yeah, by Finsbury Park. There. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Yeah, so yeah. you know, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Well, once you made that choice, your mum. I, yeah, I yeah. think I think it was me, really. In what way? What do you mean? <laughs> I, I wasn't that good at school. I, 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 to tell you the truth, I weren't interested in anything academia. Okay, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was the joker of the class. Mm, mm. You know what I mean? My reports were never any good. Okay. Do you know what I mean? And to tell you the truth, if it wasn't for this music, I don't know what I would have done. Yeah. Because uh, are you are you saying then that 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 your mum are like? Well, it must be the school. Must because, be the school. Because David is just not yeah. doing very well there. Yeah. That school is no good. Yeah. This time it was David. <laughs> just keeping the up. The school was good. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I went to school, like every term, start of term, right, I'm going to get into my books. Mm. First few weeks, I'm into my books, I'm doing all that, and then homework and rare tete, mm -hmm. and it just, just went, fell apart. Just fell yeah, apart. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, I learned what I needed to learn mm -hmm, mm -hmm. read, write, Spell, mm -hmm. count, add up, subtract. So my mum always told me, as long as you know the basics of, of maths, mm. you won't get robbed. You know what I mean? Mm. So if I go to the shop and the man said it's um, £5.50, I know I'm giving me back £4.50 change. Yeah, Some yeah, people yeah. don't know that. They yeah, man yeah. just put you, nah, yeah, that should be right. Yeah, Do you yeah. know what I mean? But my mum always told me, make sure you know what change you're getting, mm. your money, mm. rare, rare, rare. Do you know what I mean? You don't have to be a doctor or a lawyer to have common sense, common really. Sense. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. and um, by that time, by the time I went to um, school, big school, they had music classes and you know places in um, classes in there where it's just pure instruments. Mm -hmm. And the first lesson I'd done of music, I was like hooked. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to do anything else. You know what I mean? Music was on a Tuesday morning mm -hmm. and a Thursday afternoon. Mm -hmm. And they were the lessons I look forward to. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I can get yeah. to. I don't know. I don't even know how to play an instrument. Yeah, yeah. But I tried to learn and rear tear tear. But what done it for me is like, they used to send me. A, well, they used to send my friends because one could play piano, one play drums, one play bass, mm. and one play keyboard. And they used to send us to a place down Holborn, a, a, like a um, practicing studio. So you go there, rehearse, and okay, sort of yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. But. It, I used to go with them and I used to stand up there and thing and the mic would be there, you know, and um, I wouldn't be doing nothing. If I had to do something, I'd get the triangle. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> Too little not on the recorder. Too little, yeah. <laughs> so I used to pick up the mic and uh. chat the lyrics that I hear uh. on check, on records, you know what I mean? Yeah, by yeah. the time 13, you're getting all records like from like um, Ranking Dread and... Mm -hmm. Ranking Joe, so you'll say a little bit of and bong skeng, and then I'd say things like just make up things, mm -hmm, you know what mm -hmm, I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, that's where I first ever mm. kind of picked up the mic and right, chat okay. with. And they said, You're good at this, you know? Yeah. And then we'd done the assembly, and 
I mash up the assembly. Yeah. You know, <laughs> parents there. <laughs> no, it weren't parents. Gang. <laughs> <laughs> there were no parents in the assembly. It was like you know when you're more the assembly. All right, yeah, yeah. Oh, we've got D. Yeah, yeah. Uh, boom. Yeah. And I was like. Yeah, so we mash it, ribong skeng, <laughs> and the crowd went wild. Yeah. Thought, wow, this is all right. I can make, yeah, I can I make a living from this. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then um, from there, I just mm. like go to parties, like my friends' parties. You pick up the mic and you just mm. chat. Uh, how old were you at that, that assembly? Thirteen. That's interesting, isn't it? Because it's like it's like saying that that was a look like a turning point. There, yeah, isn't it? You yeah. Know, like an I, early turning yeah. point. But I loved football more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was too. I was too fat. Oh, really? I never had the the, the 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 structure of my brother. Right, okay. My two yeah. brothers. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? They were they I got the fatness, they got the slimness. Okay. I was good. Nobody ain't gonna have a fat kid in their in their profession. If they're food. good, if yeah, they're good. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. I weren't willing to stop eating cakes right, and biscuit. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> After trading, mm. I'd be drinking their water. I got a packet <laughs> of biscuits. <laughs> packet of biscuit and and a ribena. And a ribena, you know what I mean? So um. <laughs> But I loved football. Football, mm. you know, out of music and football. Music's my first love. I've made a career out of it, and football is just—I love it a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was never going to make it. Unlike Flinty, Flinty was fantastic. Mm, one of the mm. best footballers in Hackney. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I'm not only saying that because my brother—he is one of the best footballers. He was one of the best yeah. footballers in Hackney. Yeah. So I just thought, just stick onto this music thing. Play, play your football and everything, yeah. but take up this music. Mm. And um. Throughout school, I just kept doing the same thing. Like we didn't do no more assemblies, but people had birthday parties, and their you big brothers gone. would bring, get their friends to bring the sound there, have a mic, and I'll go on the mic because yeah. it's a, that's the first thing you're looking. First for. thing yeah, I'm looking yeah, for. Yeah. And then once I go on the mic, I get the girls. You know mm. what I mean? Yeah. I've often wondered <laughs> that MC start because I've never. I mean, I've had aspirations about doing MC. I mean, we can chat two lyrics. You know, I, I know. I know. That. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm ready to chat two lyrics, but but to do it as a get up in front of it. I did it for a laugh, but to get up in front of everybody, I think I think you've got to be a particular type. You know what I mean? You've got to be a particular type of person, and uh, so to hear that you started from in school. Yeah. And then, um, and then from then, you know, like this odd party here and there mm. to where you are now. It's, it's actually quite an interesting story. Yeah, you know I, mean? I mean, doing it in the parties was cool, but like the first time, like I had to go on stage, which like was on Unity, because then we done a rave one time where one sound played, but all the sounds played off of that sound on a stage, and I'm like, boy, is this what it looks like? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Ram out, mm, you know oh. what I mean? So, but I showed no fear, done my thing. Yeah, and yeah, gone with yeah. it. It was more terrifying when we first done Ragga Twins, but yeah, we'll yeah, get to we'll that. Get to yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but um, I used to love it, Ron, serious. Mm. You know, they used to call me, I used to have a little posse called the Stokey Posse. Mm -hmm. Seeing we used to go around Edmonton, Tottenham, Stokey and Hackney, any club that was going on and they'd like bully the people in. Mm. Get the mic to him, get the mic to him. <laughs> yeah, and I'd yeah, go yeah. on the mic and they'd make up a whole heap of because it's like 20 of us. Yeah, so it sounded like they got you so, fans. Yeah, and then they make noise, everybody else make noise. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. they kind of made me. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can relate to that as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah like, uh, and you're playing them small little places. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you're playing some real, but the people from the small places are there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. So, uh, yeah, I can relate to that. Because that, when I got to, on Unity, a lot of them used to follow me, but some just weren't into that sort of thing. They yeah, were more yeah. into lovers rock and mm -hmm. that party vibe. So, yeah. Mm. As you're coming along now with the, the um, music, was there anything at home that was kind of also kind of steering you uh, towards the music? Like with your parents or whatever in their terms? Well, I, of... no, my dad was like, he weren't really into this music thing. Mm -hmm. and, and he knew I loved reggae and roots and rasta man thing, so. That was even worse. Right, you know? I okay. think if I was singing some John Holt <laughs> type of way, he would have been all right with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the man used to go out and buy Rasta Man's like Big U. Yeah, that's yeah. my. That is my. That's my um, idol. Yeah, when it yeah. comes to MC and Big U, yeah. you know what I mean? And he bought them in the house. Yeah, yeah, so why yeah. are you bringing them in the house where you don't want to, to chat it's like that, you know what I mean? It's weird. Well, I'm a big man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> that really, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. it. So, yeah. And, um, but when, when, when I started doing Unity, he was kind of all right. He was mm. like, Chai, you're old enough. Just keep yourself out of trouble. Mm, mm. You know what I mean? 
don't smoke no ganja and all mm -hmm. that. By that time, I smoked ganja from I'm 14, you know right. what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're a bit late there, Dad. But it's just to keep yourself out of trouble. And that's what we did. Mm. We went, we went, we done sound system for fun, for, well, not for fun, but you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. to be happy, to play, please people. Yeah. And I didn't go there to, to fight anybody. Well, that was, you know, the funny thing is, is that you were probably the, because that was way before my time. You know what I mean? As no, a, any you, kind of you, 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 my early days of Unity was like playing in Upton House. They were like the first big dances. Because mm. uh, when I joined Unity, we used to play in House Blues. Right. Yeah. So House Blues was started ten. Mm. You're not leaving there till twelve, mm. one o'clock in the afternoon. Mm. See, so you, I'd chat from like ten till say 12 by myself and then Charging and Jack Ruby will come on mm. and they'll take up and then I'll get a little piece in because I, I was the new guy so yeah, yeah. I'll warm up the dance for them yeah. as it would do as yeah, yeah. every sound had. Then they come in and then I'll come in again and then we'll all juggle about mm. three, four, five and then by, the, by five, six o'clock, Selector's just playing pure vocal tunes, mm -hmm. Studio One and the man, them, the big man, them in the, in the places tucking with their woman, and yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. And it was just went like that. So I just stay in the dance. I have a finer thing to rub down with, yeah, or yeah, yeah. just stand up, bun spliff, and drink champagne with yeah, my yeah, virgins. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? But yeah. that was the first things. And then the blues parties kind of like withered away. You know what I mean? It was, it was getting old, and then because dance hall was was now you know clashing and mm -hmm. you know MCs. But they weren't. They were. Sh <laughs> they Ninja were sh man. <laughs> yeah, they were. Sh they were short at hours. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the, 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 the hall because mm. most most at the beginning halls never went on to, to never went past two three o'clock. But then as the culture got got more, halls started to go on till six seven. Right. And that's when <clears throat> it really got serious. Mm. You know, people started to take this sound system thing serious. I even I kind of changed. Well, uh, if you want to be like them man there, you're gonna have to change your ways and mm. me and Flinty. Cause I was at Unity first. So I yeah, joined yeah. Unity yeah. in I joined Unity in eighty three. We was I was still on Marcus. Mm. We was playing down Tottenham all week in the summer holidays, sound was string out going there, flash lyrics, the whole place ram out, drink tenants, get drunk. We had to move it from Bruce Castle and then take it over to Lordship. And over there I was sitting in a bandstand and Jack Rubin came up to me and was talking, rare, rare, rare. He goes, you want to come join Unity? <laughs> and I laughed at him and I was like, shut yeah. up. Because yeah. Unity is the biggest sound yeah, in yeah. North East London, you mm, know what mm, I mean? Mm. It's our, it, that was our premier sound. And um, I, I goes, nah, I said, stop fucking about, you're joking. He goes, nah, I'm serious. You know, it's just me and Charging yeah. and Roy Rankin comes every now and again. And yeah, you'd be a good addition. Yeah. I said, you serious? He goes, yeah, man, come over to Broadwater Farm tonight. Because mm. Thursday night, they used to keep an a, a early session in the community centre. So I went over there and made them stringing up the sound. And they, they got two basketball things and a tennis ball. They're playing tennis, they're playing basketball with a tennis ball. Just <laughs> and so it looked, it looked like a good family, everybody. Mm -hmm. Even Ribs was in playing the games and everything. Yeah. So I thought, wow, this is, this is nice. Yeah, yeah, and them, yeah. yeah, everybody's cool. Yeah. A um, sound string up, doors open from about seven, and I got about two chat, and that was it. Yeah. And then um, he said, "Come for Aces," which for, which turned into Labyrinth. Labyrinth. Yeah, yeah. Come for Aces tomorrow. We we're there every Friday. You know what I mean? Now this is going on till six. So I said, "Yeah, why not?" You know what I mean? He introduced me to all the man, and he said, "Yeah, I want to bring him in." Rare, rare, rare. The thing, the thing that made it good for me. Guess who was in in the sound? Roddy. Roddy, yeah, yeah. So when I'm coming to Broadwater Farm now, Roddy see me say, "We are here. Yeah, yeah. You're a bit far from home." I said, "No, I'll come to join the sound." I said, "What are you doing here?" Yeah, he said, yeah. "Something me and this on." Yeah. I said, "Okay." Yeah. So I, he just oh, really, took yeah. me one time. Mm. I was his boy now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna teach me how to be a not how to MC but how to behave as an MC and yeah. behave as a sound man. 
So he took me under his wing. So we went for aces the next night and I was there, warm up the dance, little chat till about 12 and then I'll never see the mic again. Mm. You know what I mean? Jack and Charging. But they, they, were, the, they were the top MC, yeah, they yeah, were the big yeah. man. And I was in there, I was, I, was, I was just cool just to be in there, you know what I mean? And listening to Unity Sound and saying I'm part of it. Yeah. And then from there, I just used to, every week, I'll just be going, doing the same thing first, help lift box, mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Box boy, you know, box yeah, boy yeah. stroke him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody's had to take that route at there some you point. Go. Yeah, yeah. So, and you're traveling in the back of the van and all that. Mm -hmm. And I thought, nah, this, this, it's not for me, but I'm not leaving. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to make sure this time next year, I ain't traveling in this, in this van. the front. <laughs> no, I'm not traveling in this van, none at all. Full stop. See? Yeah, yeah. And I'm not carrying no box in and out of dance. Mm. See? So, boom. That was 83. So 84 come. I'm still I'm still warming up the dance. I might as well be carrying Tweeter now. You know what I mean? I don't mm. have to carry the big box then, yeah. you know what I mean? Carrying Tweet or a wire box or something. Mm. And then they left the sound. For some reason, something happened between them and ribs. And they left the sound, left me one on the sound. Now now I've got to do everything. I've got to got as in MC, I've got to work the whole night. Yeah. By myself, and I'm thinking, mm. oh, I ain't even got lyrics for that. But the nice it's thing about <laughs> repeat, I hope, hope other people have left and new people come. <laughs> recycle yeah, the lyrics. Recycle the lyrics. No, I've done a lot of head top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Uh, and I thought, now, nah, two weeks, I thought, this is too much for me. I need help. <laughs> I just turned to Flint, yeah, yo. Mm. A full time, he stuck with that Sakuru's Tigrasta. Come mm. join the big boy, you know what I mean? And them time there, he was like flirting with Jemmy Magic. You know what I mean? Mm. So I thought, well, I, I need help, Flint. You and Sean come over here. You know, Sean, Sean Major. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come, you know, come warm up the dance till a certain time and then I come in and then we all jam together. And Flint said, yeah, why not? And then we all, um, that's how he become on, that's how he come on Unity. Yeah. Yeah. Before I say that, though, there was one, one dance they kept in Brookhouse School, mm. Unity Jemmy Magic. And for two weeks, that's all every D man versus Flinty. <laughs> See, all his friends would say, Yeah, Flinty's gone broke him. All my friends would say, Yeah, D man's gone broke him up there. Yeah. He never turned into no, yeah, no yeah. war. But I ain't gonna I ain't gonna clash my brother. Yeah. But it was good. It was the build up was absolutely wicked. Mm -hmm. It was brilliant. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, um, I just wanted to go back a little bit when you were saying um about academia. Mm. And you were saying about school. Mm -hmm and you're saying you didn't really fancy it and all mm -hmm. the rest of it, yeah? How did that work out for you? you because you, it's interesting when, when, when you speak to, um, like when I look at my own life, I did school and then I go, right, and then I was in music, but, but I had to have a job as well. Mm -hmm. And I had to do this and I had to do that. And then eventually all the music stuff yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. What were you doing in between that time to kind of like yeah. get yourself by and whatever? What, well, what was life like outside or running parallel for you okay. in, during the music? When I left school, I went college, Hackney College, Kelton Ass. I went there as well. Yeah, I went yeah, to yeah, do yeah. motor mechanics. I think mechanics. everybody went there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I went to do motor mechanics. Okay. I loved it. Mm. It was great. I used to get up every morning early, wicked. Mm. Then Christmas came. Nice two weeks, rave, drink, get mash up. Mm. I couldn't do it after that. You couldn't go I back. I couldn't go back. I was that if I if it wasn't for them two weeks, I would have been a, a mechanic. Right, that's interesting, isn't it? But them two weeks it sucked the life sucked out of me. Sucked the you. life out of me, raving and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. And um I ain't go back. I got a job. Mm. Um, my brethren, I used to know a guy that used to work in off Well Street mm. in one of them clothing factories. Okay. And he goes, um, I see him one time when I was at college, and he goes, um, boy, he, every time every time I see you, got the same jeans. <laughs> That's what he said to you. <laughs> That's, what he said to me. That's, <laughs> That's not nice. Your, your blood. <laughs> yeah. 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 He goes, Imagine this college thing ain't, ain't doing nothing for you. Come work, come earn some money. Yeah, yeah. He goes, listen, how old are you? I goes, 16, 17. He mm. goes, listen, I can, I can get you 80 pound take home. Mm. Now, 80 pound back then in 1982. Yeah, yeah. Was big money. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I said, all right then. So I went over there, he introduced me to the manager. The manager said, yeah, just start Monday. Mm. I didn't go back to college. I went straight to the, the, the place and that's where I worked for the, for, 
seven months. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 80 pound. But you know when you get you get the money and you go home. Yeah. There's only one person getting that money. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My mom, it's a door my open. Mom yeah, me yeah, that's harder. Yeah, yeah. I thought the government was bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then you still got to give peace to the government. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it was good. Welcome it was good. To the real world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of that's what kind of welcomed me to mm -hmm. the real world. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And working and all that. So. I'm doing that and I'm on Marcus and then you join Unity. But all the time, mm. all the time doing Unity, I had a job. Right, yeah, this is the point I'm making. Yeah, I had a job. I, mean? I, I knew because Unity weren't paying them kind of money yeah. to keep me. Yeah. Don't, don't get me wrong, this, there was there was times when I left the job and I was unemployed mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. signing on for about six, seven months, but then I'd get another job and rare, rare, but I always had a job. I remember going to Sheffield. Doing Sheffield, getting back home six o'clock, jumping, jumping the bath, change my clothes, and going straight to work. Right, yeah, yeah. So I always had a job. We always had jobs. You know mm, what I mean? Yeah, mm, mm. yeah. Yeah, no, it's important because um, it's easy to kind of like forget the importance of that. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And and because there is no support otherwise, no. You know, it takes long before you get into a situation yeah, 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 where yeah, yeah. you can go, oh, am, am I going to have to give up my job? Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And that's, a, that's the turning point when you become a professional artist. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Because at that time, I thought all, all MCs didn't have jobs, you know what I mean? Mm. But then when you start to get to know something, because mm. remember, we live in Hackney, most of the other MCs are like West and South. Yeah. Yeah. And so you, after a while, as you get older, you begin to make relationships. Because like, my first relationships as a, with another MC was Tenafly and Tipper Irie. Right. You know, to say, well, we're having a conversation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We didn't used to. When you go to a dance and you see them, you just walk past them. Yeah. But now you get older, you say, oh, gee, I'll go out and ask yeah, teams yeah, and yeah. rare, rare. So me and Telefly was close, me and Tipper was, was close. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, This is as young youngsters, yeah. Youngsters, right, yeah. yeah. This yeah, is yeah. before we even got into the 90s. So right, this is okay, still yeah, 80s. Yeah. You know oh, that's I mean? good, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's so, good, yeah. you know, because. You know, they say you clash and you mm. fight and you. Uh, uh, nah, it wasn't like that. You, yeah. you, you, you know, you can. you. You can talk to the South mm. London man then. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. that you know that's, what I mean? a, that's actually quite interesting when you think of it because um, that kind of like hones in on the, that culture of sound system wasn't just playing music. There was still, there was friendships yeah, 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 formed yeah. between the sounds. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You know, like, you know, Fly was on Coxon, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, which is a massive sound. Yeah. Tipper was Tipper on Saxon, Saxon. Ma massive sound again. Do you know what I mean? And mm. then you're on Unity, Unity, and then you lot were friends, we were friends. before the nineties. You know I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause... Before anything named Jungle, Ragga Twins, <laughs> yeah. anything. Because Tipper Irie was doing an album where he was like had fe like features on there and mm -hmm. like other artists and all that. And he called me to do the, the, the to be on the album. Mm -hmm. Me and Tenafly done a, a tune together, eighty six, eighty seven, called the Dan Man. You know mm. what I mean? So we was friends. Yeah. You know what I mean? We weren't just yeah. rivals on the mic. I mean, when he's on his sound, I'm on my sound. It's a different story. <laughs> different story. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. afterwards, we chat and re tear because mm, mm, mm. we was friends. So there was a lot of that, like Ricky Rankin was my friend. A lot of them was us. Well, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you play last week? Yeah, good. But, mm, yeah, bye bye. Yeah. But other MCs I had like proper mm. like friendship with, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. Yeah. So as time's gone by now, you know what I mean. Uh, you're in unity now. You're um, you've coming through the ranks. You take me through the earliest days. You know you've obviously been the box boy, stroke MC, and yeah. whatever. But as time's gone by, your brothers now joined, and now you're moving up in the rankings. You know what yeah. I mean? Because I I never knew your name as anything more than as Demon Rocker from Unity. Yeah. And you were already a face by then. Yeah, yeah. So tell me about that. Um, well, as it's as we as we've joined in now, we're like this is like eighty four. I've called Sean and Flinty in, and we're doing well. Yeah. You know, we've all got getting our, our names getting out there. You know, what I mean, you know, we're getting well known. We're playing in. We're playing against the big sounds, and um, we we're writing lyrics together. So. Some of our lyrics, when we're chatting lyrics, if Flinty chats a badness lyrics, I've got a badness lyrics to counteract that, mm -hmm. and then Sean's got one to counteract that. Mm -hmm. If we've got a girl lyric, I've mm -hmm. got one to counteract that. So we're kind of, it's like that. Like a show. Like a show. Yeah, yeah, See? yeah. And um, we've, we've, we've got a few singers now. We've got Errol Bella, 
um, Mikey Merker, Richie Davis. Mm. So we've got singers, we've got MCs. And the thing is, all the, 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 the local youths that want to be MCs around, the, around Hackney, they kind of come into the sound and scene. Cowboy Ranger, um, God, half of them I can't even remember, you know. Mm -hmm. well, so Cowboy <laughs> Ranger was coming through as a younger... For, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Cowboy yeah. Ranger was um, a, 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 a youth coming up. Mm. Um, well, you, he's nearly the same age yeah, as us. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, but, but at that time, but at that yeah, time yeah, yeah. yeah, he's a younger. Yeah, yeah so yeah, he's yeah. a younger. And I, I remember one time we was in four races and I think it was Tippertone playing because Flint had another sound. Yeah, yeah. Flint, he couldn't, I think he wanted to be a sound owner. Mm, you know mm, what I mean? Mm. Um, we had another sound and he was, Cowboy was chatting on there. And I said to Cowboy, when he done, I said, boy, you need to come and join Unity. You know what mm, I mean? Because mm. Flinty and Sean was now too big to be warming up for me. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. On, We're all kind of like on the same level. Yeah, yeah. So I, was, we, I needed someone. Uh, there was the next guy, Junior Leng, General Boogie. Yeah. All these guys, they they were they were younger than us. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I wanted to bring them all in. So, because what I wanted to create by that time, Jammies, Jammies had his sound playing, and he had Admiral Bailey, Chuckademus, Major Worries, mm. Shabba Ranks. Um, with John Wayne, Pampidou, and then a host of singers, Super mm, Black, mm, mm. Um, Don Angelo, you know, whole heap of singers. And I thought, that's what we need around here. We mm. need to be, and Ribs was getting Jammy's tune. So he was getting tunes that nobody else can get. So I said, we need to create that. And I said to Ribs, we need to create that. Get proper singers in, get the proper singers in, get the MCs in, and have a big like community. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So say, for instance, if I can't make it, or me and Flint, you've still got three or four MCs yeah, you could yeah, take to yeah. the dance and mm. two singers. Because that's what, when the time you listen to Jamie's tape, you didn't hear the same people on it all the time because they had so much, he had so mm. much artists around him. And that's what I wanted to create. But it wasn't my sound to create, you know what I mean? Mm. So some of them come, but they didn't last, mm. you know. Sean lasted, Flint lasted, but a lot of them, them youths didn't last. I don't know why, I don't know whether he rated them or not, but a lot of them come and didn't last. Mm. And um, so we, we, we just said, look, like, just me, you have, just me, Sean and Flinty and, yeah. the, and the singers. And, and then we brought in Specky, who mm. is now known as Navigator. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We brought him in in 1985. And how did that come about? How did that come We played about? Fat Man mm. New Year's Day in, Black, I think it was Black Woman Centre, down by... You know when you come past Finsbury Park, it's right under them bridges in Finsbury Park. Yeah, There's a club yeah, yeah. right on the corner okay. of, of one of them roads there. Mm -hmm. And um, we played them in there and he had some sort of disagreement with the man them rear tear tear. So Ribs phoned me the next morning because he must have been talking to him after the dance or whatever. And he says, um, do you mind if Specky comes and join the fountain sound? I said, nah, Bridget, nah, that would be fantastic. Mm. So now I'm thinking, okay, you've got me, Flinty, Sean, Specky. That's a good team yeah, there, yeah, right yeah, there, yeah. you know what I mean? And then you got the singers. And we was getting more singers who, uh, by that time, when Specky come, he, he brought a brother called Cela, Cela mm. Collins. So we had four, and then Peter Bouncer used to come as well. Mm -hmm. So we had five good singers and four good MCs. That's nine of us. Yeah. We're going to be big. Yeah, yeah. And we were. We used to go places with our truckload of entertainers and mash up dance. It's interesting, and that's like a that's like a tra not, not, I, don't, I can't think of another term, but it's like a, well, you know a travelling circus. Yeah, you get what yeah. I mean. So like, okay, now with this show, we can go and we put on a go, show wherever yeah. we go. Yeah, yeah. One time yeah. we played down Mellon Road in Peckham, and um, we played. Um, there's a tune. Don't be too shy. Yeah. yeah. Come out of the dark and come into the light. And the rhythm goes, doom, bo -do -bo -doom, bo -bo -do -bo -do -bo -doom. Yeah. Listen, we put the singers on first. No, we went on first, but we just chat like 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. So like an intro thing, Flinty, I think Flinty went first. And then, and, and then I come in with a, a little piece of lyrics. Yeah. And then Specky come in with a piece of lyrics. And then the singers took over. Yeah, yeah. The place went mad. And I, I, I was like, this is it, we've made it, this yeah, yeah, is what yeah. I want. And it was just us, so, cause we used to, 
like bring the singers in. Cause we knew the singers. Cause the thing is with ribs, yeah. If whoever was chatting or singing weren't shocking, you weren't. You weren't gonna play and like pull it up and give it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going on to a different tune. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. So you up. knew. <laughs> so yeah. So our singers were good. Yeah, Celia, yeah. Celia, Richie, Peter Bouncer, mm. Mikey Merka. Um, even had some other El Errol Bella and oh blast one next I'll remember his name soon mm. yeah you know, you know was you see this era here you're speaking about yeah is this like would you say this is the golden age of unity yeah. or it was yeah. okay so this is what made everybody know about okay, unity this is this is leading to like that, that the thing I told you about um, Peckham mm. I think that's 86 mm, mm. that year mm. we would have bet that 86 87 88, mm. we were the ruling sound. Yeah, yeah imagine that. Do you we know what I mean? So like, you were traveling South London, but so it's interesting because sound systems, that era, your era, or that yeah. era there, it was seems common that you would travel to other yeah, people's yeah, era, yeah. areas. Java come to Hackney, we went to Wembley, mm. yeah, yeah. we went to South London. It, that, it, you know, we, you know when, it wasn't a thing where if you're going to dis go there and disrespect the area, then obviously you ain't going to be able to go there because yeah, you forget yeah. the sound. It's the people mm. that live there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mess you, mess you up. But we had respect for areas, you know, because when when sound when we was in when we was early days in Unity, still I just brought Sean and Flint in. We used to play. Marcus used to play. Jamarcus sound when we was mm. in there. They used to play every Tuesday mm. down at Lecture Hall, a place down um, Great Cambridge Road, Tottenham. Mm. And for two weeks, we played in there, Unity and Saxon. And like, it was the rammest I've ever seen the place because, you know, people don't, they, 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 it's not like Saxon are down these sides every week. Mm. They're not. You might get them every other month or something like that. So when they came down, people flocked. They mm. came in their droves to mm. come yeah, and, yeah, um, yeah. And, and hear. And the, the, the two dancers were wicked. So yeah, 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 yeah. you know, at one point, Mm. Every week we was we weren't playing. Every week, like either, well, on a Saturday we'd be playing in country. That's that's nice. That's you know nice I mean? because you were getting used to what would later become it, the, yeah. the same thing what the you're norm. doing now. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And um, so, okay, so boom, you um, traveling about the place of unity. Unity's popping off. You know what I mean? And Demon Rocker is kind of like he's the, he's steering the ship essentially. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's steering the ship. How did that transpire to that, that, and what was the sort of like catalyst for, for change in that, that became Demon Rocker of Unity to Demon Rocker of uh, the Ragga Twins? Well, first I've got to say like, because we're talking and you might think it's just pure sound system. I did record five, five um, tracks with, on the Unity label. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah five yeah. tracks. My first track was um, Iron Lady. Okay. Which is one of well, most probably my biggest reggae um, mm, mm. tune. And um, were you chatting lyrics on there? Yeah. Right, yeah. So, yeah. and then it got produced and even got used in a um, documentary about um, Margaret Thatcher. Really? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and that was his 85. That was my first release. Right, I didn't know about I that. I was over the I didn't moon. know nothing about that. Yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah. And the thing is, I, I'm not going to lie, when we used to play Saxon in 84, mm. I wouldn't, they wouldn't big us big me up like mm, mm. big up demon rockers or whatever just be them back themselves yeah yeah brought the tune out it went to number 10 11 in black echoes charts yeah yeah the next dance we played with saxon big up demon rockers and rare so yeah, yeah. that kind of changed people's perception of, of me. you yeah, yeah? yeah, yeah. i'm not just a, i'm done, not just yeah. a um sound system, a sound system man. Man. yeah yeah i'm actually an a, a recording artist yeah yeah, now. yeah you're an you artist I mean? yeah, yeah yeah i'm a recording artist so um that was good. That mm, was really mm, good, mm. and it kind of put me up there, like someone that could make a nice tune. And, mm. and so, so, and what were the other records that were that were after that before this era of Ragga Twins? Yeah, yeah. yeah um, Ugly Gal, um, Chuck It. I done that with a guy called Jack Rub. Jack, can't remember him. <laughs> Jack. Yeah, yeah, put it that way. Jack. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> And a couple other tunes, and then the tune with um, with Tenafly, and then I, I went, I was on, I'd done the tune for Tipper Irie's album, right. of like various, various artists. Various album. artists, yeah. yeah, yeah. Your brother spoke about it. Yeah. yeah, and um, from there it's like 
I'm on a different level now. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm perceived, I'm looked at differently, you know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm getting booked to do shows mm. without the sound, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm doing a couple of shows now on stage, appearing by myself. Singing the songs. Singing the songs, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Chatting the songs. Yeah, so it kind of moved in a different, it's moving for me in a different direction. I'm like, I'm beginning to like the studio work now. This is, Mm. you know, because I've seen Tipper Irie, Papa Levi and various other um, artists, um, Smiley Culture, Asher Selling, all making tunes and albums and Mm, mm. we're not doing nothing. Yeah, yeah. And that is one of the main reasons why I left the sound because Mm, mm. The, the, uh, the Saxon, Cox, and they were going Jamaica, mm. America, Bermuda. <laughs> and we was as just, a sound? As a sound. Right, yeah. We were just going Manchester. And, and, and what, what was the reasoning behind that? Just a vision? Yeah, well... They but did, you, surely you were big enough to do it, but... Well, yeah, but, yeah, vision, mm. ambition. Yeah, vision, ambition, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because there's loads of stories. Uh, one I know, well, both stories I know... Mm. Which is, I can tell them because I know. Mm-hmm, I've mm-hmm. heard one I heard from the horse's mouth and one I was in. Yeah, yeah. yeah? Jammies was getting married and mm. he said to Ribs, Bring the sound. This is 86. And this is in Jamaica. Yeah. He's getting married, He's getting in, married Jamaica. married Jamaica in there. Mm. Bring the sound, bring the man them. Come and play at my wedding. Mm-hmm. Now, him and Jammies is like that. Yeah. Seen? And Jam, I know Jammies now. Mm-hmm. Me, you know, me and Jammies on first name terms, you know yeah. what I mean? So when he said that, I said, yeah, wicked, we're going, we're going yard. I didn't even have a passport. Yeah, 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 yeah. Run out, go and get a passport, boom, boom, mm-hmm. got my passport ready. Mm-hmm. And it, so, so he was going to bring me, Flinty, Roddy, and himself. So the four of us was going to go represent Unity with his family as well, because they knew Jamie's and say, that's his wife and his three kids. Like, this was like, he's going in August, we're in like May. Every month, one of us got dropped off. So first it was Roddy. You mean dropped out of the sound? No, dropped off the the the, the, the trip, list. The trip to go. And who was dropping? The, who was doing the dropping? Ribs, Ribs was right. Okay. Right. So he dropped off Roddy. Then he dropped off Flinty, and then he dropped me off and said, mm. "This he, he's not taking the sound no more to play. He's just gonna go and think what I'll be f- since, after the man told him to bring the man." Why? 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 What was his I logic behind that? I don't know. Because who was paying for all of this as well? Maybe it was a money thing. We were making money. Our dancers yeah. were ram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, we didn't go out for less than a certain amount. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I mean, so there like, should be no We weren't reason. taking the sound for 250 quid to yeah, play. Yeah, You're yeah, getting yeah making right. big money. I've, I've even collected money for Unity before, mm. so I know what the kind, kind of, of level. Money. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's not like he didn't have the money. You know? yeah. And them time, the ch- ch- um, flights weren't, weren't expensive. What, that, what they are what now. They are yeah. now. So, yeah. you know, the four of us, the four of us out of the sound, most probably would have cost about a grand and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And he was putting us up and everything, so all that was all sorted. We didn't go, you know what I mean? So, and that must have put a bad taste in the yeah, because everyone, yeah. I, I would have gone over there, mm. yeah, because we was, I think he was gone for two weeks, mm. so we would have gone over there, we'd have recorded at Jammy's studio, mm. yeah. Most probably the tunes would have come from over there to over here, like pre release. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, it's the biggest reggae label in, 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 in the world, at yeah, that yeah, point. yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, and then one time when we left Unity. There was a guy that used to follow the sound called T. First black man I seen drive a Rolls Royce. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, in Hackney. Yeah, yeah. See him? So we was outside Regal Record Shop, because that's where we used to gather mm. for Unity in there and make joke and stay there all night and then go up when I didn't have a job. <laughs> <laughs> so we was just chatting and he goes, yeah. One time I did um, make a thing to take the sound to New York. Mm. I got five dates, I got the flights, the hotel, and the wages. All you had to do was bring the man them. Mm. And Rip said he didn't want to do it. That's madness. That's madness. And when he to- when when T told me that, I thought, nah, you're like, he goes, D, I'm a big man, I want my life for. Yeah, yeah. Because he loved him, him and Ribs was brethren, they mm. were brethren, so he ain't gonna lie to me. Mm. And he told me that, and I'll and I'll never forget that because this is afterwards now, I'm thinking. I could have gone to New York. So yeah. I could have gone to Jamaica. And New York. And New York to represent Unity And, and what did Ribs do in the sound? He would just owned it. He was his sound. It was his sound, but he didn't MC and he no, didn't do anything. He, just, he, he was a selector. I wonder why he didn't want to do I it. I don't know. It's weird because... Maybe he was frightened of flying. The thing is, no, because he went to Jamaica. He still went to, to J- Jamaica. He still went to Jamaica. Yeah, thing, yeah, for the wedding. It's weird. The thing is, 
Cox and Newton Saxon, they're all flying people. Nah, if the, if the, the flying people in and out of the country. Mm. The sound went to, to Bermuda, the sound went to Jamaica. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Our tapes mm. were busting up all over America and, and, and mm, yards. Mm. People um, used to, like, that followed the sound would go, take their yard, their, their unity tapes mm. with them to Jamaica. Mm, mm. To and listen to why they did it. To listen to why they did it and make copies and leave them with people. With, with so people we, we were known. That's nuts, man. I can't understand why you I, would have done that. I, I, you know what? To this day, I'll never understand. i never understand. And that shows to me, he was the greatest selector. Mm. Yeah, but it just shows really, to me really, a really lack weird. of ambition on his part of having yeah, something a sound else, man. Holder. That's not ambition because it's on a plate. Yeah, but yeah, but it's That's ambition because it... that would boost your ambition. Yeah, but it's it's the, listen. In life, things come along that you might not have thought of, and you might be. Oh, I don't, that's a bit out of my league. You don't then go, I'm not going to do it. Do you know what I mean? When it's on the plate, it's, it had to be something else. It's funny because the first, per the first time when, when we turned Ragga Twins mm. and they said, we want to take you out to Berlin, Germany. Yeah, yeah. I didn't give a damn about no wall or no racist or anything. Yeah. I just wanted <laughs> to, get, get, to go. get to go. Yeah, it's just nuts. I just can't understand that he's... he's I just don't know. And that's why I'm saying, was it because he didn't want to fly? I don't know. Was it because of this? He, it was already part of the sound. He, it couldn't it's have been sound, jealousy. Don't it don't know what been, it was, nah. It couldn't have been that because he would have been there as well. Yeah. It's just, it just sounds bizarre that he would have chosen mm. to say, I'm not going to go to Jamaica. I'm not going to... Maybe he had other... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, the Who years, knows? The years moved on. Yeah, and yeah. 87, 88, we was like really... But we weren't going to the studio, we weren't making albums, we weren't mm. flying anywhere. You and, know, you, just, and for you, it just started getting stale. Just started getting stale, just same old thing mm, every Saturday, mm, mm, you mm. know, chatting on a sound. And it was 87, 88, got to 89. And they had this dance at Shinola's. Do you remember Shinola's? Of course I do, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. They had this dance at Shinola's, so again, one sound, but everybody comes. I think it was our sound that mm, everybody mm. was using. And we'd done our piece. And as soon as we'd done our 20 minutes or half hour, mm. I turned to Flint and I said, I'm not doing this no more. Right, see? On the stage. Yeah, yeah. I turned to Flint, I'm not doing this no more. You can. Yeah, yeah. I'm not doing this no I'm more. I'm out of here. I'm out. Yeah, and, yeah. It, and the reason why I said that, mm. that year I heard the Daddy Freddy um, ragamuffin hip hop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I thought, wow, look at that. That's big. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's not even reggae. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's Daddy Freddy from Yard. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said, yeah, I'm done with this. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know where I was going to go. Yeah, yeah. But you knew that that point, you'd outgrown. Yeah, that, I'd outgrown that. that. Outgrown it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I'm not yeah. making tunes. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, the dances are just the same old, same old. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? They're not. It's just, I suppose no. it's the same like most, some friendships. I mean, we were speaking about it earlier before we mm. come in here. Some friendships, you just like. You, you know, know it's what? over. It's over, man. It's over. Do you know what I mean? No animosity, but for me, I'm out of here. And that's why I wanted to leave with no animosity. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm out of Phoned here. Phoned him up. The, um, I left it for two days. Yeah, yeah. Phoned him up and said, Ribs, I'm not doing this no more. Yeah, yeah. The man hated my guts. Yeah. He, he what? He hated my guts. <laughs> um, even there, it's like, even there, it makes me think like, was he doing it because he wanted to wind it down slowly without saying well, to anybody? But know. clearly no, it weren't because well, when because you left, he, he was he was, he was vexed. vexed about he, it. He didn't he, he he didn't take it well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he didn't understand that I wanted a different life. I wanted mm. a different way. If you was if if he was if he was sending me to Jamaica, go and voice for Jamis. Jamis mm. is my my uh, mm -hmm. my brethren, rare, rare, rare. Go on, voice, go on, boom, boom. Or he, Jamis was even sending him the tunes that, that he was making us and put them and them on them tunes. Yeah. And he wouldn't. He, he wouldn't put them on his brother's rubbish. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. You know, I was fed up of the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I loved my sound unity. Will never ever stop loving mm. that sound unity. It's given, mm. It gave me my break. This is a in really music. good insight into that because it was a unity sound without any shadow of a doubt. Anybody in this country who knows about a sound system across the whole country will know about Unity yeah, Sound. So everybody. to hear this on this podcast and to hear the intricacy of it that made you walk away from it as the, as the driving force, bearing yeah. in mind, I asked you, was it that circ at that circus time, was it at that circus time, the high point of it? And you were like, that was the high point of it. And we were just about to go again. Go again. And he so, said, no. Because if we had gone to, to play at Jamie's Jam wedding. If you'd gone to the wedding, and you'd have gone to, New, to York. New York. We'd have been, we'd have been big like, 
the tip of Iris and the pub, yeah, you know, because yeah, yeah. don't, don't get me wrong. Yeah. We were big. Yeah, yeah. Lemon yeah. was in a different yeah, level yeah. of bigness. Yeah, yeah. Because they'd been abroad. Everybody knows them. The people knew them in the, the, the um, Papa Levi and Tiffany. They were tif they were partnering with Papa San. Yeah, yeah. Papa San knew them like personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stitchy and their man. There. We they, I, I, we knew some because mm. the thing is right. Kilimanjaro came mm. over. Mm. Yeah, played with them. And certain certain times when they weren't playing, they'd come to Unity and come on the sound and sing. We done another. We done a. Um, Coxon was playing over Hearn Hill or something. We went over there. Only put M MC and singers over there. Puddy Roots was the singer for Kilimanjaro, mm. and Puddy Roots went because they were going the next day. Puddy Roots we went outside. Me and Flinty went outside to leave, and Puddy mm. Roots was going out. And I said, "Yeah, Bridget, it was good, you know, powering up with you and getting to know mm -hmm. your area." Mm -hmm. He turned around and goes, "Boy, well, I may mean, tell you, if we could I take you to Jamaica tomorrow with me." Mm -hmm. Seen, and you had the pan Kilimanjaro son and Powell. Mm -hmm. I looked at him. I said, "Shut up." Yeah, he said, yeah. "No, I'm a nah joke, Rasta. Mm -hmm. You're bad." Mm -hmm. And that was the first like that's Paddy Roots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, Metro Media come over. We were partying with um, Peter Metro for mm -hmm. for months. Me and Peter Metro was like on the same sound sort mm -hmm. of thing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, Sassafras, loads, and they're all giving us big praise. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he could. I don't know if he, if he saw what they saw because they're from Jamaica. They're in the industry. Mm. They're telling us on a bad eye. This is what I'm saying. My ass. What was his role in? Do you know what I mean? Because it, it's almost like. I mean, my 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 sort of like insides are telling me that it's a form of jealousy. That's. I in. don't know. There's, there's another thing that's always played on my mind. Mm -mm. He knew we were small island, right? So we didn't have the the Jamaican. Patwa roots to do not yeah, the roots because yeah. so, you don't okay, need the, the patwa, roots. The patwa. yeah, but they, but but surely it, that's iris. That doesn't make any difference. No, it doesn't because all of those people validated you. Listen, if you're gonna be a if you're gonna be a, a, a hip hop artist, yeah, yeah, learn to speak American. Yeah, you gotta speak American. Yeah, you're gonna yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like being a major trying to chat the lyrics. Thank you. Hey, wait, wait, tell you. They start talking like a Chinese. <laughs> So you go, I couldn't not, I couldn't go and speak J um, Dominican. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> hey boy, put up your hand on flag and wave. <laughs> that weren't going to happen. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It weren't going to roll. So I had to, when I, when I, because I used to just sit around them because he had, the man, they were bigger man than to me. So yeah, yeah, they had yeah. all their brethren, they were all Jamaican. Yeah. So I just used to sit there and listen how they talk. Mm. That's how you say it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ah. You yeah, know what I mean, and you like, pick up the I odd didn't... word, and then you mix the rest, yeah. and the next thing you know, you got it. Yeah. I used to, when when I used to chat, right, say say you wanted to say work, I'd mm. say walk. Yeah, yeah. And then walk is different. Yeah, walk yeah. is. That's right. Do you yeah, know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I learned. Well, no, but say it in the, so work. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I had to learn it. I'm not Jamaican, mm, 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 mm. but my mum, who's mm. Monstratian, that's the closest. To Jamaica. Dialect to Jamaica, yeah, 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 I've yeah. heard, yeah, yeah. but it's still different. Still different so yeah. I had to listen to them, and then you mm. know what I mean. And I listened to nothing but yard tapes. Mm. So I knew I learned it. Yeah, eventually. It's as far as I'm concerned, yeah, yeah. And as far yeah, as I'm yeah, concerned, yeah. I was in, into reggae music. So I had to to speak yeah, like yeah. them. Mm, mm, mm. You know what I mean? If I'm doing punk rock, I, yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, so. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm just. I'm Who speculating. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. But it's a I'm very good insight into yeah. into the demise of because unity, isn't if it? it? Because, yeah. Because, because it, every sound system must have a turning point. Hmm. Saxon, a lot of them. I mean, I, well, I don't even know. I think Saxon was still playing out for. They still play out now, but it's not right. the same. It's not the same thing. Yeah, yeah. But but there's some sounds that they just fell off a cliff. But they don't that, exist anymore. Plus, as well, he hardly used to like Jamaican artists on his sound. Right. And what was he from? Where is he from? <laughs> Jamaica. And he didn't like a Jamaican artist. Sometimes he said, "I don't want no Jamaican artist." Like, That's a bit weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do, mm. because you get them on your sound, on your yard, on your on your Unity tape. Mm. When I used to write at the back, and one of them passed through, be, <laughs> Demon Rockers, Flinty Badman, Josie Wells, mm. Demon Rockers, Flinty Badman, Peter Metro. Yeah. Demon Rockers, Flinty Badman, Paddy Roots, and I used to like to see that on my tape mm, because mm, mm. you're working with the elite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. So. But I don't know, it's just weird, you know what I mean? And mm. as I said, got to 1989, turned to Flinty on the stage and said, nah, 
done with this. It's over. It's over. Mm, it's finished. Mm, I couldn't mm, do it no mm, more. Mm, mm, it weren't. Get, I, I wasn't getting anywhere. I wasn't. You know. In I started in eighty three. So that's what seven years. Mm. I do. I tell. I do say it was like ten years, but it wasn't. It was seven years. Seven still years. Still seven years. Yeah. It was a good stint. Stint. Good, good stint. And in that seven years, I never made an album. Mm, yeah, it's a good stint, seven and, years, and not a small amount of time. I, you know, we was bringing people to the to the dance. Mm. Me, Flinty, Navi, mm. Sean, we were bringing people to the dance. Mm. Even though they loved the sound unity, mm. if we had left, we, as soon as we left, everybody else did. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, because that's how it goes. Yeah, we yeah. were the focal point. Mm. You know what I mean? People come to hear unity, but people came to hear Flinty, yeah, D-Man, yeah, yeah, Specky, yeah. We, we know it Sean. Works. Yeah, and yeah, Specky yeah. left two years before we left. Right, okay. Because he couldn't take no more. He said, he went to Jamaica and he said, son, this I, when I come back, I ain't, and he left. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, mm. it was it was crumbling. Mm, mm, you know what I mean? But he couldn't see it. Mm. And, and there was a point where, because remember, he, he, he got all his tunes from Jamis, so every tune that he'd play after a certain point would mm. be Jamis' tune. Yeah. Then they, they fell out. Mm. They did fall out for about a year. Mm. He didn't get no tunes. We had to hold up that sound, mm, mm. see, and make sure nobody don't take no liberties with us. Mm. We went to Leeds one time. Mm. We're just getting there. We're parking up the car. The, the, the club's got a car park. We're parking mm. up the car. Like the door opens and the sound's cussing us. In, in, in the dance already? In the dance, we're in the car park yeah, and we yeah. just pulled up. <laughs> the sound's cussing. Yeah, I'm going to have enough jammies double and kill you tonight. Yeah. Leave my record fleet tomorrow. We're in there. Mm. <laughs> I'm saying, okay, Flint, we've got a fight on tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to murder them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the sound? Jungle, so, some jungle, jungle rockers or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. from Leeds. Murder them. Who are you talking to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we might not have the dubs, them boy, but we still got the MCs. Mm. Kill off two boys and send them packing. Mm. You know what I mean? So and all them things that we had to go through. Mm. And I said, nah, not anymore. Left. Mm. I was working. And how did that look like for you now? So that you're, you're, you know, like, irrespective of the fact that <laughs> yeah. you didn't like it, <laughs> you're like, you're like, now you're out of the wilderness. To do. Yeah, exactly. I ain't got nothing to do. Saturday, Friday night comes, Saturday night. You're like, I'm in my yard. Your farm's thinking, did I make the right decision? I did, now? I did. No, but, but, but I'm just saying it as a, as a. Yeah, but I did, Ron. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. did because I see people and, hey, you left unity. Yeah. Yeah. The fuck you do that for? Yeah, yeah, see, yeah. Boy. Don't it's worry. a long story. It's a long story, yeah, but yeah. I ain't finished with music yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I could have just said, you know what, sod this music game. Mm. I'm going to get a job That's in impossible. Tesco's. That's it. Well, I say it's impossible. A lot of people have done it. A lot of people have done a it. A lot of people have done but it. And, and never made it back. And never made no. it back. I mean, I did. I, I mean, I'm. I've had my no, but you've. Through. Yeah, but you've, you, 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 you've gone on to filming yeah. about music. Yeah, so yeah. it's not. It's not. You haven't left the music yeah, business. Yeah, yeah. And you still play. And you mm. still play well. Oh, thank See, you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you know? yeah. Remember, like, I grew up a listening man like you. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you're from my. Uh, you yeah, know what I nah, mean? Thank you. So, but um, when we left there, and I, I had a job. I was working in a place called Bennett and Fountain, mm. electrical wholesalers. Started up in West End, and then they moved me to Leytonstone. And I was in there, and it was so boring because Leytonstone they never had no customers. So I was yeah, yeah. in there just. Sitting there full, yeah. full asleep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or I'd just come to the, sh the front counter and just stare out the window yeah, yeah, and watch yeah. the world and girls That's go a, by. That, 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 that to me, you see, this, you see what you've just told me? All of that is like a movie. <laughs> and this is the bit, a third, two thirds down in the film, when the character is at his lowest point. <laughs> Run, I'm at my lowest. He's at his lowest point and he's just sat at the counter like that. Do you know what I mean? And he's just looking at the people and the uh, buses go the by. buses and the people. <laughs> and um, I'm thinking, Sorry for laughing. No, but it's true like, though. Yeah, yeah. So I think, like the Saturdays will come and... <laughs> well, where are we going to go? Mm, mm. I'm not going unity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. You're not going unity. But then we did. No one's calling. We did one time. Mm, one mm. Sunday we went uni. Mm. And like we was in the dark. He had some MC. And he was shit. Yeah. And yeah. then he's got the cheek to turn around and, and pick up the mic and say, yeah, this is what you call a real MC. I said, yeah. Who said that? The MC himself? Ribs. Ribs oh, ribs, right. I thought, Oh, shut up. You're only saying that because we're in the dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got, you're saying that, but everybody's begging us to go on the sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to go, they were playing Cox. I was going to go on Cox and I was going to go on chat on Cox and we'd yeah, tell yeah, fly. Yeah, because he said that. But, yeah, yeah. true to the respect I got for yeah, the man, yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. do it. You, you know what I mean? So, yeah, so I'm standing, I'm sitting at the, um, at, at the counter and the thing is, Smiley's brother coming. Mm. Yeah? 
because he was a he, he had an electrical business, he's an electrician, isn't it? So he come in, order some bits, and he asked me, "What are you doing now?" I said, well, "I work here." Mm. So you know what I mean, God, what, what would you need? He said, "Nah, that's done now. That's mm. that chapter's finished." So I'm just here doing my work and just waiting for the next thing. I'm not mm. rushing anything. If mm. something come, it come. So he used to come in all the time in him and his brethren and buy buy cable and mm -hmm. socket and plug and this and that. Smiley's brother Daddy or Smiley? MC. Is it what his name? Um, that uh, what is that? What he, he, MC Earl. for Earl? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So MC Earl, Daddy. Earl, Daddy, Daddy Earl, you mean? Yeah, Daddy Earl. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, so yeah. Earl was the electrician. Yeah, Earl was the electrician. Oh, I thought you meant the other. I'm sure Smiley, you... no, Smiley came into the shop. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Earl's, yeah. That's how he knew where to find me, innit? Right, okay. So, because okay. Earl and his brethren used to come in buy right, things because they right. had electrical. This is an interesting yeah. part of the story. So they, bro. they had an um, <laughs> electrical business. So, yeah. um, they come to my shop and mm. they see me there. So. As he said, yeah, you know, I said, nah, I'm done with that, man. So he goes, what are you going to do now? I said, mm. well, I don't know, I'll just wait and see, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And the thing is, I did mention, I said, I like that hip-hop stuff that people are doing now, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And all that, the, the, you know, Acid House or whatever. Mm. What, I didn't even, I can't remember what I called it, but I didn't know nothing about it. Mm. But I knew I wanted to be, because I knew reggae music, unless you're Bob Marley, mm -hmm. yeah, Shabaranks, Yellow Man, you ain't making them kind of monies, yeah? Mm, 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 mm. I mean, they are now, well, I don't even know if they make that kind of money, but mm -hmm. we just know them as big artists, the Capletons and all that. Mm -hmm. But at that time, you know, if you weren't them names, then you ain't making no money. I just said, yeah, I don't mind what I do, you know what I mean? Mm. Two weeks later, Smiley comes into the shop. So I go, oh, what, you work with your brother as well? Mm. He goes, no, 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 I come to see you. I said, oh, okay, mm -mm. what do you want? Uh, mm -mm. <laughs> he goes, I sampled you on a a tune saying, um, respect to our little acid people and mm -mm. Um, wanna know, I'll just come to see if it's cool to use it. Mm. I said, yeah man, use that, mm -mm. how you mean? Mm -mm. I goes, yeah, that's all right, that's not a problem, man. Um, but before you go, yeah. what can you do for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, what do you mean? I goes, well, I'm not in Unity no more, so I wanna, um, I'm looking a new Avenue. career passage. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he goes, um, yeah, come and see me. He goes, I'm shut up and dance. I'd never heard of that before. Yeah. And we do that dance music. Mm. I said, yeah, no problem. But I goes, I don't do anything without my brother. Mm, That's mm. what I told him. I said, yeah, I don't yeah. go nowhere without Flinty. Mm. He goes, yeah, bring Flinty along. But I didn't know he knew Flinty. Right, yeah, yeah. I didn't even know he knew me. But yeah, yeah. So we've gone up, I've taken him up Belgrade Road, off, off, high, off Stokey High Road. Mm -hmm. We've gone up there and we're just talking hip hop. And we're talking, it's weird. The world's weird, Ron. Mm, mm. We're talking and PJ, I'm looking at him, he looks so familiar. He goes, of course I do. We used to go primary school together. Right. He goes, you used to be best friends with my brother. Right. So who's your brother? Errol. I said, Errol Johnson. He said, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. You're Philip Johnson. Yeah, because him and Danny used to be best friends right, at school. Right, yeah, yeah. I thought, my God, what a small world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, Smiley, them used to have a sound called Selena, That's which right. used to play against Flinty's sound. And every time we see... Um, Hype, he come yeah, to him yeah, about right, yeah. teeth his boxes and all them foolishness. But I said, listen, I weren't into that. Maybe flinty teeth your box or flinty <laughs> bread. You buy never teeth, no box from you. And then so and then we just yeah, yeah. and then he played us some tracks and I thought, yeah, so I, well, I can get onto this. Mm. Gave us some tracks to say go home and practice on and mm. and then from there we just went. We we done a little recording in his house mm -hmm. and then he took us to a studio, Von Studio on Liverpool Road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's where we made. Spliffed and Hooligan 69. Mm, mm, mm. And then from there, that was it. That's crazy. Ragga Twins was born. Ragga Twins is born. But it weren't even like... Ragga Twins then because we were still looking for a name. Yeah, yeah. But I went to him and I said to him, yeah, yeah, he's going to do his thing and I'm going to do mine. He goes, nah. Smiley goes, nah. So, so say that again. Who said they're going to do his thing? I said to, I said to Smiley, he's going to do, Flintley's going to do his thing. Yeah. And I'll do mine. Yeah, go on. Smiley goes, nah, 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 nah. Yeah, yeah. It's got to be both of you. Duo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You lot would kill it as a duo. Nah, man, we've been together all this time. I want to do my own thing. Goes, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Keep it the same because people know yeah. Flinty and D-Man or yeah. D-Man and Flinty. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So keep it. We didn't have a name and a need to just... Cause remember, when we was young, people thought me and Flinty was twins. Yeah, yeah. They thought we were the same age. Twins. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. looked so much. My mum used to dress us the same and everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they thought we were twins. So we just said, well, we'll just come out of Ragga. Ragga doubles, Ragga, I don't know, Ragga two. Ragga distouches. Ragga, yeah. 
<laughs> the rag of the stooshes? Nah, it's too long. <laughs> We said, Ragga Twins. Yeah. He smiled. He said, that's it. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. We didn't even think about it again. Mm, mm. That was the name. And then we went with that. I was saying to your brother, um, which he didn't know, but I was saying to your brother that I actually went to school with Smiley. He was in my year in, at primary school. Is him, it? Him and his brother were in my class. Right. Such a small world small it is in, world. Ha in Hackney and this Serious. whole kind of thing and this whole music thing and yeah, how it's all I didn't even... linked together. Do you know what I mean? I, I even know they were doing that sort yeah, of stuff. But, but in, and even, even the story that you tell about, imagine that, like that kind of like... Again, that sliding door moment, do you know what I mean? That because you left Unity, you couldn't get a job, then you got a job at that place, which was in the West End, yeah. but then they send you to think. Layton. My man was in, never ever went to the shop in, no, in, 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 in no. West End. Well, he didn't because I was there for nearly a year and a half. There you go. And then him. you're at this place in Thingy, and then it's like, da 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 da, and then the next thing you know, this is the beginning now of this, of an even longer career. Yeah, longer, yeah. Even double, longer. yeah, over double. Because what's that? That was 1990. If we're in two, we're in 2023. That's 20. It's 30, 30 plus years, yeah, bro. 30, what am I talking about? 20, 33 years. It's more than 33, isn't it? Is it? 34. 34 probably. years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's mental. 35 next year. See what I'm saying? So. 35 years of Ragga Twins. That would be, I think it's actually a bit more, to be honest, but I could be mistaken. But anyway. But um, yeah, and that's what it's... Because I, I went... I, I, as soon as he went, I phoned up Flintley. You know, he was supposed to use the phone at work. <laughs> mm. Flint, one brother coming here, you know. He named um, Carl. Mm, he got, Carl, that's right. Carl he got, and yeah, yeah, he yeah, got a brother yeah. named Earl. He said, yeah, yeah, I know them, Selena, man. He said, yeah, yeah, he does that um, that acid stuff. He said, he got he sampled me. He wants us to come and check him. So He said, come tomorrow. I said, yeah, all right, we'll go up there. Mm. And that was it. And that was it. And that was it. We, we spent three hours just listening to their philosophy of music, what they listened to, because they were like big Public Enemy fans. Mm. Yeah. So they play as Public Enemy. I weren't interested. Mm. I like hip hop. I weren't interested in it, not to, mm. to learn the ins and outs. I think they were, I think, you know, not I think, it's a fact that they were actually very pioneering. And the reason I say that is because of the fact that even at that time, it was difficult to even, un for me, it was even difficult to conceptualize what you do to record a voice into something else that you can then take it out, that it then becomes a record. Yeah, yeah. It was like hard, like, how do you get from that to that? <laughs> so they were already doing that Listen. from very, very early on, mm. extremely early on. And the fact that we never, we, we cause remember this, this scene started in 89, 88, mm. 89. Yes. But we were still on Unity. Yes, that's yeah. right, yeah. So we didn't know nothing. All I, the only thing I knew about Acid Party was Leah Betts. You're right, okay, right, there you go, yeah. that's interesting, yeah. And remember, they only told us about the bad rubbish. Yeah, yeah, the side you know of I mean? it, yeah, you only but, heard about the yeah. drugs, the But ecstasy. once I got into it, yeah. and we, I started hearing about the, the, I'm sure the parties, with them parties were still going on, the, yeah. in the fields and all that. Yeah, in, in I, I, I'm almost certain, I mean, one time, yeah, Rebel and I, we were at just a normal rave. Right, we're at a, just a normal rave. This time now, we're embedded in it, bit yeah. deep in that area, yeah, yeah. Bit by them times there, yeah? yeah. And I remember you and your brother coming there. <laughs> and I remember you like, like this, <laughs> like you were like mesmerized, run, mesmerized. You're like raw, and I was like, oh, it's, it was exciting because what it is, there weren't that many black people no, that I no. knew in the place. So to see you, it was like, oh, there's another one of us, kind of vibe. And, um, but you were like this, bruv. You can tell you, you know, when someone's in a situation that they, you're like, Not yeah, used to, right. but it's you're, nice. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. Yeah. And they're like trying to get used to it. Yeah. And, and um, I can't, God knows where it was, you know what I mean? God knows where it was. But I remember it like yeah, very yeah. vividly, you being like, both you and your brother being in a state of shock. We was. You know we was mean? because you walk into this, this I mean, mm -hmm. I remember the first gig we got. And the price they told me I was going to get. Mm -mm. It's like, boom, you're going Birmingham, mm -mm. Dome, mm -mm. such and such time, boom, 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 mm -mm. you're getting a thousand pound. Mm -mm. I said, what, we've got to stay up there till six o'clock in the morning? Yeah, yeah. He said, no, it's only 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. What, you, they're paying us? Yeah, tell me about it. A thousand pound to do yeah, Spliffer yeah, yeah. and Hooligan 69. Mm -mm. And hardly got any flipping words to them. Mm -mm. Yeah? He said, yeah. I said, okay, I can roll with that. Yeah, yeah. So we drive up there. Get to the place. Ram out. Mm. Be a white people. Mm, mm, mm. I've turned to Flint and I said, what the fuck are we going to do in here? Yeah, yeah, huh? yeah. They ain't going to understand us. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? So they've taken us through backstage run. 
table there. Table there. Fruit, crisp, biscuit, cake, everything. <laughs> and then on this table, beer, champagne. Yeah, yeah. So I walked in, I goes, oh, someone else. Why are you put us in someone else's room? Yeah, yeah. He goes, no, this is your room. I said, what? All this yeah. you can eat and drink. I said, yeah, that's all for you lot. Welcome to the big time. <laughs> Ron, I didn't know what to say. <laughs> Welcome to the big <laughs> time. Because I go Unity and they don't even give me a stick of gum. <laughs> <laughs> you're lucky if you get an ice pop. You're lucky if you get a... Man, them go, all, man them go all spliff hanging off, off, off Ab's case. So you don't even say, well, take one of them. See? Uh, so we're in there, we're drinking, I'm eating. I, we've brought about... Well, I think we've, we've rolled with two cars, so there's about mm. eight of us. Mm. And they all could come in the back and eat what you want. And say, yeah, you like eat. I'm sure we used to think, and there was a period of time where we were touring at the same time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there yeah. was a period of time yeah. where we were touring at the yeah. same time. We were on the same coach Sheraton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll get, get, yeah, get to yeah. that. I was going to get to that. Good times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was wicked. My times. So then, right, I think Karen Wheeler was on before us. Mm. So she come off crowd a little. So the man goes like five minutes. Mm. Yeah, yeah, because this is your first time now. First time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you know, this is this is the end of our career. At least we had. A, at least we got yeah, all yeah. this to a thousand pounds. We got some fruit. <laughs> <laughs> got more than a stick of gum and a split. <laughs> Run. The man said, "Yeah, we're next up. We got a few a new act coming out of the Shut Up and Dance label. Give it up for the Ragga Twins." <sighs> I said, oh, hey, yeah, 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 we yeah. all right, Flynn. We're going to get through this. Yeah, yeah. And I said, brock it up the 10, 15 minutes and walked off. Yeah, yeah. And I thought, yeah, they know us. Mm, We're here. Mm, mm. We've, we've arrived. Mm. And then from that, we was out every week all over the, all over well the country. Well done, Smiling. Well done to you lot for being able to get through that transition of, mm. of I mean, that what a, what a, Stark contrast. Yeah. Sound system at Shinola's. Right? <laughs> it's my That's last, the last thing, my gig. Last live thing, That's yeah. your last live gig where, and then you thought, I'll pop back in and see some, some other kid on the mic, and the man said, This is a real MC. <laughs> to you saying, You know something? Now you're in wherever it was, Birmingham or Birmingham wherever, Dome. or Leeds or wherever. Birmingham I don't know where Dome. it was, Birmingham. Birmingham Dome. Birmingham Dome. And, and now you're in a green room for the first time of the your first life. First time. And you're like, is this really for us? Yeah. And then you hear your name called. So, so really good and 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 power to you lot for that. But you know something, power to Smiley and them I'll as well. I've never be, really given them their credit due, you know. I'll always be indebted to them. I've never really given them their credit due, but the way you've just now told that story mm. and the early days of that. So you imagine, just put this into context. You turned up and done that PA. They already knew you. That means that record has been playing yeah. everywhere before you, you yeah. even got there. But, and they, but, that had to be, a, this was not a USB or a no. thingy. This was a piece, of, piece vinyl of vinyl that DJs would have been playing enough times during the course of one night at every single dance across the country for you to be in Birmingham yeah. to have that reaction. Well, check it. That is, we've made that tune. We've made that tune in, say, February. No, mm. we met them in February. Mm. We've made that tune by May mm. or April, May. Mm. It's been played or whatever, handed out. Then we've done Dance Energy. Mm. Remember, because we done Dance yeah, yeah, Energy. That, right. that was the yeah, first right. yeah, TV yeah. fan thing we've done. Then we've done this gig. So in that time, it's been played. Mm. But I don't know where it's been played. Mm. I don't listen radio because I'm mm. still listening RJR. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, the show. I'm yeah. still going reggae dances. Yeah, yeah. And we never, we ne we never, we never started. This has two. That's 1990. We never started raving properly till May 1991. Mm. That was our first rave. We done a thing called World Party. World Party, which is uh, the pr the precursor to um to um no no was World Party the precursor to AWOL or was that World Dance? World Dance, World Dance. World Party was some two two guys from South London, two black guys from South London. No, it must have been something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was in Chelmsford, Essex County Showgrounds. Mm. Got there at four o'clock in the afternoon, never left there till half seven in the morning. Right? Mm, mm. Serious. I, I, I got hooked. Mm. That was the first time, because usually we go and do, do PAs. That might have been where I saw you, you know? Yeah. That might have been Could where be. I saw you. 
Because we just used to go and do the PAs. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And, and leave. leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not interested. Mm. I said to Philippe, let's stay, see what this is mm. all about. Mm. If we like it, you never know. Mm. If we don't, the next the following Wednesday, we was in Astoria. Yeah, yeah. Prancing yes. up and down like See, we knew what we was doing. Yeah, it's funny like that because I say that about, um, I, it was the same experience that I had with Acid As. I, you can't, you couldn't have experienced, you don't get it unless you rave unless it. Unless you rave it. End of story. And I didn't If you try to listen to it on the radio, you try to even turn it up in your house, it ain't the same thing because it's the energy with the people, yeah. the, the, the loud music, the, you know what I mean, whatever your thing is, you know what I mean, whether it's like, whether you're non-alcoholic, just weed, pills, or and the rest, there's a version of it that fitted you, but yeah, you yeah. had to be there. You had to be there. Do you know what I mean? Before, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, go for it. Before you knew, you, you knew who it was, did you know who it was? Before I knew who it was. Ragga Twins. Did you, because you must have heard the name before you... you... No, no, I've, everything was simultaneous for me. Everything happened at the same time oh. for me. Yeah, I knew, there was no kind of like... There was no kind of like... Oh, you were the record to... No, oh, okay. no, there was never that. No, no, no. I knew whatever was going on, because I knew who Shut Up and Dance were. Right, right, right. Do you get what right, I mean? Yeah, Shut Up yeah, and Dance yeah. went through Simon. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah. I knew the whole story. Yeah, I, yeah, I knew from the right, whole yeah, thing. Do you get that's what right, I mean? Yeah, so yeah. I was like, I was fully aware of what was going on. I remember when the album came and Simon had it in the office. Mm. You get what I mean? Mm. So, um, but, but the Shut Up and Dance... Um, the white label that they had with the hat and the stick or yeah, something yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? I knew all about that. Do you know what I mean? See, see, um, see. There was this period where I started to just see you lot as ravers with your um, band, what was it? Your bandana. bandana yeah, or your yeah, 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 flannel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all three of you, you, Specky and, uh, and Flinty. Do you know what I mean? Uh, with your, your thing or whatever. Yeah. And um, We became huge ravers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Think, I think raving took over our life. Because mm -hmm. I, I didn't want to, Saturday, even in the week, mm. if I heard a story was going on, I was down there. Yeah. That's yeah. my favourite club. Right, yeah, back yeah. In, yeah. It, was back a, it, was a, it was an amazing club. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd go anywhere where it was mm. playing, you know what yeah. I mean? Mm. Even some places where you'd think, what, what am I doing there? But mm. it was just the yeah, fact, yeah, yeah. the music, the vibes, mm. people enjoying, you know, it was nice. It wasn't, not, pff, wrong word. It was cool to be in a place where there was more white people than black people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Not that it was less trouble, but, but there wasn't any trouble back mm -hmm, then. Mm -hmm. there was, I, I don't remember ever seeing a fight mm -hmm. in the first two, three years I was Yeah, yeah, raving. that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I, I agree with you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah so it was nice. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And the whole newness of it mm -hmm. like, was captivating. I was like... It, no matter where you know you go in Barnsley, I'm ready. I'm going. I'm mm -hmm, I'm ready. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, Barnsley, <laughs> yeah. right. you got Swanage. Oh, you know what I mean? We got... went Barnsley, <laughs> and the police stopped us. All right, yeah. And we go. Um, he goes to us because remember, not a lot of black people down there. So mm. he stops a car with black, four black guys in it: mm. me, Flinty, Danny, and some other, rude mm. boy Keith was probably. Mm -hmm. And he goes, "Oh, um, we just stopped you because we heard that there's a." There's some guys coming to town called the Ragga Twins. Yeah. What, was it? what do you know about your coppers? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. We've yeah. come to make sure you get to the club smoothly. No way. Serious. Really? Really. Wicked, wicked. Yeah, so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, look, I'm, I'm not going to say I've had this superstar A-list career, and I'm glad, mm, mm. because I can go anywhere I want mm, on mm, 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 scene. Mm. I'm still noticed, but mm. I don't get people. I don't have to walk with a... Security. A security. Yeah, security. I remember yeah. when I went when because, as I said, I've always had jobs mm. until until 2002. So I was working in Dalston, Harvey and Thompson, the jewel, the, the thing. Mm -hmm. Think I'm walking past Jarul. Mm. And then there's a load of people following up the road, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? He's just walking down Dalston High yeah, Road. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he's got four huge, man, big like this piece yeah, of something. Yeah. I don't want to be like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit uncomfortable. Because yeah. I come over, I'm thinking, I'm forgetting that I'm Demon Rockers, Ragged Twins, yeah, but yeah. they don't know me. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. So I'm saying, so he's like, I love it. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Just walked off. I said, that's not why I'd never want to be yeah. like that, Ron. Mm, mm. I need, give me the riches. Mm, mm, mm. I don't want to. I want to be able to go where I want. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I feel sorry for some of them guys that mm. they get so huge. You don't even that see them. They don't no become more. normal. Yeah, no, so, you don't yeah. see them. They, dress funny, mm -mm. they don't see them, you only see them on the telly or in, in magazines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So the that period of time where where the Ragga Twins were like performing artists, PAs, shows and whatever, you know, we we for those who don't know, you know, we know that there was some litigation to do with your one of your last your latest albums, your last albums with Shut Up and Dance, yeah. and as a result of that, they that album didn't come out. No. Tell me a bit about that situation. Well, so we had success with the first album, huge success, you know what I mean? Took us, not all over the world, but we went places that we'd never been dreamed of going mm. before. And um, the new album was, we got back in the studio a year after, started to make the new album. We had a tune on there called Party Time, which was featuring Richie Davis. At that time, I'm Raving, I'm Raving was just ready to come out. So we used to PA with Shut Up and Dance. So they'd do Raving, I'm Raving, we'd do Party Time. But Party Time, Raving, I'm Raving was always the bigger tune. But Party Time was still make, getting his, his flowers, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then bam. <laughs> they can't put out the tune, which will make them mm. millionaires, mm. yeah? And then which... They, what was the reason success. behind it, though? Well, they said the sample, the guy, was it Mark something? Mark Cohen, he made a tune for Elvis, mm. walking in Memphis. They've sung the tune, I'm raving, I'm raving. But they've used some of the words that he would have used, that he used in his mm. thing. And the, 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 the argument was, you didn't clear it. Mm. You didn't ask for permission to use it. And mm. So it wasn't a sample, it was a publishing issue? Yeah. Right, okay. And, um, well, sampling. But so he plus. did sample the record? No, he didn't. He didn't. So he, he sung, just the, sung words. the words. So it's yeah, a publishing, publishing issue. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and then, um, remember the thing they put out? I think they put out 50,000, and they all went on the first day. The copies? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They got to number one on the first day, but they couldn't actually play the song on Top of the Pops. Mm. And then... All the money they had to put it towards, um, they couldn't release, but whatever they made, they had to put it towards a charity for Elvis. And um, yeah, the rest is history. Isn't it? They, two, three weeks later, they said, Boy, we can't carry on with you. Mm. So they dropped us. And, um, and that it was, was just sad. simply because of the fact that now they were, they were legally. They'd been stripped of everything, yeah. basically, I even stuff from before, basically that that they couldn't really support yeah, themselves. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, what a, what a sad thing, man. Sad. What a you sad know, thing. I, I woke up the next day. I thought, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Imagine that. Mm. You know, you get something good. Just that, just about to go to that tipping that point. Next level. Yeah. Most the level where I didn't want to get to anyway. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. but mm. it might have got there. And, and they would have honoured that as well because yeah, yeah, they would have yeah, yeah. been like, yo, you were with us from the start. Yeah, they, you made they, us to this point. They were, you're, you're they were just as invested in our tune, Party Time, I know, as yeah, they yeah, were in, yeah. in Raving, I'm Raving. Mm. And then, yeah, so we're part of companies. We didn't really part of companies, we were still friends. Yeah, but of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we mm. weren't doing music no more. And um, But Simon was our manager at the time, yeah, so of course, he yeah, had to yeah. look out for us. Yeah. And he got us um, a gig with a... Um, a group called Us Free, mm. which they had just mash up America with their jazz album. Mm. Um, and we'd done a few tracks for them. People were going, they were like, yeah, this is good. Like, always something with the Ragga Twins, yeah. Mm. That is not our, our fault. But he signed it to the wrong company for the more money. Who did? Simon. Right. Yeah. There was other people interested, but they weren't offering as much as EMI. Mm. Now, I don't blame him because, you know... Mm. It's because you're trying to get them more money. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and the music business, just like the sports business, is, can go any time, mm. yeah? You just have to make one mistake and you're finished. Mm. So we took the deal, we made the... And it weren't a bad deal, actually. Mm. Um, but it was the wrong record. It was the right record label, but the wrong... Because you know in, in record labels you've got subdivisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was Positiva. Yeah, yeah. Which done, I like to move it, move it. So they they done dance stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This was a jazz album. That sort of stuff. Which you should have given it to Trevor Nelson. Mm. You would have done a better job. Um, but anyway, it, the, the, we finished the album. We started the album in, in 
in 93, we finished it in the middle of 94. It was ready. Mm. We went to, we went to a place, we went, <laughs> and that's how I know Flint is a, Flint is a hustler, you know. Mm. <laughs> we used to always go to meetings up EMI mm. and chat about what we're going to do and rare, rare, rare. So now they get onto videos. Mm. Now, we've got a tune called Freedom Train about South Africa. I remember that, yeah, yeah. And then we've got another one called Money, which mm. is it's about lose, um, about money. Mm, but mm. Where's, the, where's the most money in the world? Las Vegas. Mm. So Flint comes out with, yeah, I think because the tune's like about Nelson Mandela, I think we should go and shoot the video in South Africa. Mm. I said, shut up, they ain't going to say. The geezer goes, that's a great idea, mate. Mm. Right, we'll send you lot to South Africa. Mm. They sent us to Cape Town to shoot the video. Right. <laughs> Went back in for the next meeting for money. Yeah. And Flitley goes again. I thought, you're going to try it again. Yeah. I think we should go like to one of them casinos in, yeah. in Las Vegas and mm. shoot the video. And they said, yes, again. Mm. So if we'd done a tune called Out of Space, I said, can you fly us to the moon, please? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know what I mean? So we, we got that out of them. Mm. But we went to um, Ireland, mm. big hotel, all the delegates from EMI all over the world, mm. Japan, Australia, Canada, America, everyone, some big wigs were in there. Mm. And it was a thing where you're in the hall and it's pure seats. So there's no standing up, mm -hmm. pure seats. And all the delegates are there, their assistants and their whoever's. And all the group upon group come on, um, Gemini, uh, that girl group, can't remember their name. Four girls, um, Jamie, I think I'm not sure, Jamie Redknapp's wife, ex wife. Yeah, I know the ones you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eternal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eternal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the geezer that had the, the album cover naked. What's his name? Angelo, uh, D'Angelo. Yeah, yeah. So it was all artists mm -hmm. with EMI. They're all there. Coming. There. Right, yeah, yeah. All there. Yeah. All performing. Yeah. Everybody sitting down. Yeah, yeah. So the guy. The guy that that, saw, that was um, Nick Hawks, yeah, who yeah. was um, manager of the album of the label. Mm. He goes like, when you go and do this thing, right, just do it and come off quietly and yeah, you no, know, because it's not a stand up thing or a yeah, dance. yeah, yeah. Flea looked at me and said, "On oh, your nelly, mate. This is Ragga Twins. We don't do that." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got on, play the tune. Yeah, they said we, nobody's to stand up, but we can't work like that. Yeah, yeah. See, Everybody get up, we're gonna dance, we're gonna have a party. I know it's I know it's business, but we're gonna have a yeah. They loved our performance. Yeah, see? yeah, yeah. Got backstage, they're all doing their and everything and Yeah, yeah. But they're all coming up and say, You guys are gonna be huge, we're gonna make you look big. Japan, we want you. And the Australian <laughs> guy, we want you in Australia. They, my head couldn't even fit out in the yeah, door, yeah, Jed. Yeah. Trust me, they had a next party, we had to do a um a, a rave on the Sunday. But the funny thing was, when we got back, the rage were cancelled. So, yeah. but we could have said they had this big banquet mm. for the next day. Yeah. Yam food, everything. Mm, mm, mm. And then they have a party and then everybody goes home. But we missed that. Mm. But they were, they were raving about us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was 84. So the album was meant to come out beginning of 85 and 84. 90, 94, Not, you mean? Sorry, 94. Yeah, yeah. Beginning of 95. And they long it, long it. The album came out. September ninety um ninety five. Mm. By that time, everything the the, 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 the energy yeah, had yeah, gone, yeah, gone yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. We'd done a PA. We did. We PA'd it. We got a live band and everything. PA'd mm. it live band. The best thing out of that mm. is they put us on a show with none other than James Brown. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Oh. Okay, that must have been amazing. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. My man come up to us, shake hand, took mm. photos, everything. We took two cameras worth. Simon lost both cameras. Are you um, joking? He's got no photos of us and James Brown. That's but I know that that's, that's in here. It will never leave. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? um, And after our, our performance, because we performed before, before him, obviously, mm -hmm. you guys are great, man. God damn, got yeah. some energy up there. Wow, yeah, I yeah. love that stuff. Your style. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it like... was wicked. Yeah, yeah. And to get that sort of praise, you know what I mean? Mm. You don't have to. You, don't, you didn't even have to come, come and set tour to us. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. God, I've been places with enough stars, and they don't even come into our dressing room. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? And so I, res I respect him for that. And um, rest his soul. It, it just didn't work. Yeah. But if you listen to the album, mm. I don't know if you've ever listened to the album. The album's called Rinse the Lyrics. No, I haven't. I haven't listened to it. It is superb. Mm. Absolutely brilliant. Um, the two guys, one of them died, Mel, and the other guy, he's still alive. And um, 
they were, they, you know, they just knew I remember how to the make, song Freedom Train, though. Yeah, I remember they it just well. knew how to yeah, make yeah. music. Yeah. I mean, different. Mm. It was different. Anything, it was different than anything reggae and mm. the, the acid house and all of what we was doing. Mm. You know what I mean? And So I think it sounds to me that, that this is another sort of like turning point in the, in the, um, the your lives mm. where just as it, things are start, starting to go like this, something happens something where happens. it peters off. Yeah. And, and here you are again, you know what I mean? Kind here of we like, are again. Um, you've got like this, his, this heritage behind you, but it's not necessarily serving you in the way yeah. how you might want it to. Because after that, we got dropped by EMI mm. and we was back in limbo again. Yeah. Back to no man's land. Mm. And I, 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 I said, I'm done. Mm. I said to Flint, we was up in my mum in my mum's house, mm. and my mum's got an attic right at the top where we used to to sleep, mm. and Specky and Flinty were up there. We was all bunning spliff and everything. I turned around and said to her, oh, "I'm done, man. Oh, this music thing, it's not for me, no more. Mm. I, I can't do this no more. It's just, it's just disappointment after disappointment. Mm. When you get to a high and then bang." Do you know what I mean? Shut up and dance. Now, EMI. Mm. Who's next? Mm, mm. Do you know what I mean? I can't sign to nobody no more. I don't trust them. Mm. Fill you with promise and nothing happens. So I was ready to leave and the specky said, no, you can't, you can't. Because if you left, then there's no Ragga Twins and what's Flinty going to do? Because Flinty didn't have no intentions of leaving, mm. of quitting. But I said, I can't, I can't take no more heartbreak. I can't do it no more. So I, two, three weeks, I didn't do no music and then I just decided, cha. I can't leave this, and got a, got a job. Just started working, cause after that period, I kind of even went on a little depression, like, cause it, we weren't getting booked. Cause at that point they said we couldn't do no raves and all that. That was the, the time when Champagne Bash and we took that big photo and all that. Was, that's them them that era. That and they period. said we can't. You, you can't do none of them raves. So we had to go in as Demon Rockers and Flinty Badman. You couldn't go in as Ragga Twins. So all that, you know, I can't do that. I couldn't do that. And then you just drop me. Mm. And now we're not getting booked for no raves. So we're just there doing nothing. Nothing's going on. I had to get a job. But then, you know, the love for music always conquers. You know what I mean? And we, um, we were just there it's doing nothing. And I don't know what happened, but we got, Introduced to Tanya, mm. she saved our life. Mm. Tanya Lee from UMC, she saved our life. Mm. Not once, but twice, because we left her and mm. come back. Yeah. yeah, she saved our life the first time, because mm. like, we weren't getting no booking as soon as we went on her, her thing. Mm. Booking, 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 here, there, everywhere. Mm. She saved our life. And um, I said, I'm not signing to no other company ever again so we'll do tunes for you but I'm not signing to you for nothing so you mm. keep your money mm. and just give me what I earn from record sales or and publishing and that's how it is big um, up Tanya yeah big up, yeah, yeah, Tanya. Big up Tanya serious yeah, 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 because yeah. we was going nowhere fast mm. yeah because I again I, I know that there was even for me I understand there was this window for you lot and I thought it was going to be the one that you had said before but then I forgot about the freedom train and the mm, and the yeah. um, and the us was it us what us three us three yeah and and the whole EMI thing and it was actually more that one that was the one where it was like Desert Land. Yeah. Do you get what that I mean? That killed me, Ron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was actually that one, which was the one where it was that like... That was the one that... Cause... I don't see them anymore. You yeah. get what I mean? No, no, no. I saw you, but not as... No, no, you didn't see us, Ron. We, we was out of the game. Right, yeah. Well, we there, was there, was a, the there was a period of but time... But we was friends. That's why yeah, you yeah, saw yeah. us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we still context, raved. Yeah, yeah. We still went raving. No, that's the point I'm saying. Oh, I sorry, saw yeah. you at raves. Raved, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But you weren't performing. Performing. And you weren't emceeing. Yeah. Do you get yeah. what I mean? It was that window. And then somewhere along the line, and then I went out of the picture, and when I came back, you lot were MC. Yeah, because we got and with Tanya. But there you go, do you know what I mean? And so walk me through that, because that is now the Ragga Twins that everybody else knows now. Right. But you know, because most of the people, believe it or not, the people who watch this channel will know your legacy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They will know, bro, oh, yeah, I was, you know, I mean, I bought that, I got that record, yeah, that yeah, shop yeah, and yeah, dance yeah, record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, da, 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 da. You know, they follow you for crying out loud. Yep. Like, this is what Tanya worked on. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? She, but she, there's a bunch of people who are going to know Ragga Twins predominantly. They'll pretend they know you from 
Shut up and yeah, 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 yeah. But they mostly know you from this from time. now. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And the work that yeah. Tanya put in for you. Because we was on a, we were, you know, we was in a bad place. Mm. You know, that was that was mid eight ninety five, and from that to say the end of ni ninety six, mm. I weren't in a good place. Mm. I, or was it ninety seven? I weren't in a good place anyway. Mm. Like sleepless nights not knowing where I'm going to perform. I, I knew I was making money because I was working, mm. but then I lost that job, so I weren't doing nothing. I was just, and it was like summer. I got three boys, yeah, and a girl, yeah, and I've got to... Provide. Provide, plus look after them in the summer holidays. Mm. And my head's not right. Mm -hmm. So it was like just being in a room with these kids, just running up and down, playing. So I got a little system together where... We get up in the morning, I make the breakfast, play your game. I would write lyrics or try and do something. And that's what I did to get through. Do you know what I mean? Used to go raves and listen to other people. And I'm thinking, Jesus, is this what it's come to? Mm. Do you know what I mean? From 83 mm. to like eight, uh, to 97, I'm, is, this, is this my life now? It's not a nice feeling. I don't know why I'm laughing, but I've been there, my brother. You're not on your own. Bro, I phone Flint Bro like, you're not on your own. You'd, I'd phone Flint and something must have pop up by yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing. Mm. Nothing. And to make it matters even worse, which is not really a bad thing, mm. but I, I really didn't like this, mm. and I don't care. Mm. When we got dropped by EMI, Simon dropped us mm. and took on Ronnie Size, mm. and I thought, like, mm. You could have kept us, you know, still trying to. Because remember, when we left Shut Up and Dance, you got us that gig. Mm. And then now you've, now it's happening a second time, you're just going to go mm. because Ronnie Size is the next big thing. Mm. No disrespect to Ronnie Size, mm. but Ronnie Size is Ronnie Size, Ragged Twins is me. I'm looking about myself. Mm -hmm. And you've just left. You've just gone. Mm. I didn't even give it a second thought. Mm. And I thought, that was bad. Mm. I didn't like that. Mm. That never sit with me, well with me now. It still doesn't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, we, you know, out of everything we made, you got a percentage. Mm -hmm. You can't just dump people like that for mm. no reason. Mm. We were still, you know, active. we were still active at yeah, that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah. know what I mean? Because there was what, a... Yeah, come up with something. Yeah. Do you remember the Scottish guy who used to work for... Um, Scottish guy, I think he turned Muslim as well. You know him. Oh, you mean, um, I know you're talking about, he used to work at Perusia. Yes, yes. He, um, I can't remember his name. But he got us a, he, he got us a deal for... Yeah, he got me a deal. He got us a deal for £30,000. Yeah. And Simon said no. Oh, really? And we were skint. Yeah, um, Perusia, what was his name now? Um, I can't remember his name. I think his name was Rob, you know. Rob! His, his name his was Rob. Rob. That's it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. his yeah. name was Rob. Yeah. I can't remember the surname now. The yeah. surname might Rob. come to me as Rob. well. that's his name. He Lovely had, man. Lovely man. He had, he had faith in people. That's what he had. Listen, he had faith in people. Because he, 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 he I think he tried to sign us before the EMI deal. Yeah. yeah. Perusia, and they were via RCA. Yeah. RCA. So it was BMG, RCA, and he, that's was, a right. and he was a substitute. There was, another, there was another one underneath there as well, beginning with A. Don't remember. Astra. No, oh, I don't remember Astro. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. I don't remember Astro. Yeah, and, and he, Simon said no. And I thought, you should give us that mm. decision, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He said no, and that went. And um, mm. and then he went. And then we was, as I said, we was left. Mm. And we got into got with with um, Tanya. I think it was through Navigator, actually, because I'm mm. sure Navi was on her, um, her books. Mm. And, yeah, she got us back out there. Yeah. And it's never stopped since, to yeah, tell you yeah, the truth. Yeah, yeah. We've just gone from strength to strength. And I, I put more, we put more of our time in recording this mm -hmm. time around. Mm -hmm. So, say from, I mean, it's funny to say that, but from 90 to that time, the end of um, EMI, um, mm -hmm. 85, we done a lot of recording. We did do a lot of party at the creativity. Mm -hmm. Now... We are recording. Mm. We've got so much tunes out here. Mm. It's unbelievable. I'm very happy that... And this has been an interesting story because what you've done here, you've linked in this story, the earliest, even for me, it's the earliest of music culture in this country to this present time now. Yeah, we haven't gone down the route of grime and, and blah, 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 because we don't know about that stuff. Do you get what I mean? But the branch of that huge tree that came up 
came from, whether you like it or not, came from sound system culture and you and your brother have taken us through this, this journey of what, of a deep journey of what sound system culture was in that time through to, by, vicariously through your own life story. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, um, and I didn't know what this interview was going to end up being. But for me now, I know what it is. And that's what it is. It's been this story through your life of black music in this country that morphed into jungle, that morphed from that into Acid House, the earliest instances of, of raga music in, in Acid that then went into jungle and then here you are in present day still here. And I commend you a lot for that, man. I have to commend you for that. Yeah, well, I had to keep it going because every year I used to say, how long is this going to last? But I hope it's never done. Yeah, yeah. I hope it's never done. Yeah, and on that note, I agree with you. And, and I want to say the same thing. I hope that it never, ever finishes. And, and, I, and big up to everybody who's done their work, or yeah. done their bit to take it to where it is today. Because yeah. there's a lot of people that's come and gone. Mm. And they've played their part. Remember, a lot of people don't, don't remember that. Progeny was... Us and Progeny come out at the same time. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. We was at the same, they were at the same world dance as us. Now, their career went that way. Oh, wow. Ours went yeah. another way. But I'm happy. You're happy as you sit here now. Because yeah. at the end of the day, you can look back and go, and go for ev all of the ups and downs and whatever. And this is, I suppose, the, the quintessentially what gratitude is. You know what I mean? It's like being grateful for, for what... Yeah. That journey is, you know, and I can I can go Jungle Mania. Mm, mm. I can go Jungle Fever. If it comes back, mm, mm. <laughs> I can go any rave I want, mm. and you know I'm just looked at looked on as demon rockers or my brethren mm. or a raver. Yeah, because that's how I like it. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't want to be stuck in a room with champagne and all that. I want to be stuck in a room. Listen, for the record, I want to be stuck <laughs> in a room with champagne. <laughs> right. Let's make it clear. No, not really. I'm <laughs> talking. Right? If Demon doesn't want it, send it into my room. Give it to me. <laughs> D, thanks for coming, bro. You're welcome. Much appreciate. Yeah. Thanks. Much appreciate. It was a really, really good interview. Thank yeah, you to you and your brother, you're and welcome. and 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 keep up the good work. Do you know what I mean? And I'll see you in another. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you in that. <laughs> right. I'm Look into that lens. Look into this lens. Look into that lens. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a holy bad idea. <laughs> and I know, Ron, he gets most of them done. So just keep listening out. Keep watching the podcast. London something. <laughs> big up, Demon. Yeah, big up the Raga Twins every time. And that's a wrap.